guarantee it. So how do we do it? We go to the laboratories and we get tests. We have our own in-house gemologists that can guarantee that when we say genuine gemstones, that's exactly what you're getting. Join jewellery maker and specialist guest designer Louise Jacobson for our basic wirework course. This class is suitable for complete beginners who wish to learn simple wire wrapping techniques to create stunning structural designs. Louise will teach you all the essential skills to get started, including basic spirals, double connectors and much, much more. The full course includes a range of different wire gauges, a bead scoop, use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet the presenters, and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just $69.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Hi, thank you to the lovely uh, Debbie there and the gorgeous Lucy. We just haven't, we've been like passing ships, just haven't seen her. Uh, I am here with the fabulous, fabulous Rachel Norris. We are going to have a great show. My name is Fee. Sorry, I didn't introduce myself. And she's, she says, just give me everything in the first half an hour, Fee. Everything. I said, you got any favourites, any favourite colours? No, just give me everything in the first half an hour. So, yeah, we will. Uh, in terms of challenging Rachel, we've got a brand new launch, a premiere here on the show. And uh, this is just a little taster of, of what you can make in a three disc edition, edition two of a Rachel Norris Wirework. Yeah, just one of the examples of many work, which I'll, I'll go and visit Rachel in a moment, so she'll tell us more about the Wirework Masterclass. But we are going to launch it right now. It's a follow-on from the first DVD, and in the pipeline there is a third DVD. So all the work will take you through a, a fluid transition to move on to the next step. Uh, you can make so many different pieces, which I'll talk about with Rachel in a moment. That bangle is just one example, and this is the DVD. So. Rachel herself, an award-winning uh, jewellery designer, will take you through the steps of making so many different pieces of jewellery, which I'll show you in a moment. But we're about to launch. This is edition two. Like I said, this will be the stepping stone for, for the next edition. They've all been uh, developed with the idea of taking you through step by step um, incredible projects, wire work projects. And obviously with the idea that one leads on to edition two, that then will lead on to edition three, which is also in the pipeline. So let's launch, let's get a price on, let's talk to Rachel more about what is involved in the DVD. This is actually what you can make as well. So I will show you this in a moment. It is that incredible, beautiful peacock. The beauty of nature. This is edition two. So it's a three disc set. We'll get the price on, we'll get the actual uh, graphics on. And in fact, uh, if Ben's okay, I'll, I'll go over and start talking to Rachel. If, uh, are you all right to follow me? I don't like to just sort of jump up and disappear, darling, because I know you're trying to man at two cameras. But the reason I thought I'll go over to Rachel is because she's got the pieces there. She can physically show us what it is you'll be making and talk more about this, this DVD, because I'm so keen for you to get this. Now, obviously, we will talk about it throughout the show as well. But uh, tell me a little bit more about oh your DVD, goodness. Rachel, and then we'll, we'll, oh. as soon as the graphics are up, I'll, I'll remind everybody. Well, I, I just wanted to make some of um, pieces inspired by creatures of the of the air, basically. So butterflies and birds. Um, I've thrown in a leaf bracelet as well because we had some spare space on the DVDs. Yes. And I've gone into them in great detail. So, you know, the peacock actually it almost takes in a whole hour on the DVD because we're going through all the stages <gasps> to make it. So, you know, I'm not just de dealing with it in short bursts. You're going to try to get me From start, to, start finish. to finish through the piece. Um, and some of the techniques I'll, I will follow on to the next one as well. So let's you'll launch bring a price. I'm going to launch a price, Rachel, yes. and then we're going to have a look at them. Uh, so let's get that price up mm. on the screen. And it's a 
Three, 1995. Remember, this is a premiere. It's the first time launch. It could be the last time it all sell out. Uh, so whatever you do, don't miss out. VBNR33. So talk to me about your designs. Now, this is the oh peacock, which we've got on the front of the DVD. Um, so you will take us from start so to finish. Start to finish with these pieces. And the little golden bird I did as a, as a doodle, as a child in, in That's in a my bonus, lessons. isn't it? In, as the... in my lessons, ah. yes, because I just... Um, well, obviously wanted to escape, I think, at that point in time. So <laughs> I've, I made this uh, a prototype of this about uh, three or four years ago, and now have, have brought it to the DVD, um, this little golden bird. And then um, the peacock, again, um, it's something I w um, always want to make. I know it's been made in so many different ways, but this is just my take on the, on the peacock. It's meant to be uh, sort of almost like as a Wallace Simpson inspired Ooh, piece, you know, the, yes. uh, retro, back to the 30s, yes. that sort of um, elegance of, of, a, of a, with all the colours as well. And I've made them with um, sort of quite muted tones here, peridot, and you can bring your really expensive gemstones into these sort of pieces, mm. the ones you spend a lot of time on. And then I brought into the other piece a bit more sort of vibrancy with also That's turquoise and yeah. a lapis and, and they love a the bit turquoise, brighter. They? And you can just bring any colours into yeah, these pieces. Um, with the little golden bird. Shall I hold for one example, for you there, darling? With um, you can put any beads in there. I've just decided to keep it the same tone. Well, fully um, enough, we've got some great peridot on tonight's show as well. So, oh, yeah, right, well, that'll yes. be a, uh, a bonus. I love, I love peridot and, and its use in um, the pieces, actually. So I use it quite a lot. Um, so we can learn step by step, yeah, and, and the, the leaf bracelet. The leaf bracelet I put in as, as a bonus technique actually to coming because I've actually sort of doing myself there. It's a, it's a really nice structural um, um, technique to use. It's my hair, sorry, darling. Don't I don't know worry. why I've got obviously brushing. <laughs> <Sticking and, the laughs> hair. Um, and that's in there. And there's also the start to finish of the butterfly necklace, Ooh. where I'm actually just really going through the whole process. And with, that's why we've Princess. gone into three hours, because yeah. we go through the whole process of of making the butterfly itself, which can be made as an individual pieces. You see, again, um, sometimes the big impact pieces can be too much for people. Oh my goodness, I've got to make the whole thing. I break it down into small little chunks, so you make one piece at a time and then put, assemble it all together, or right. you can use the pieces separately if you oh, want that's to. That's a nice idea. So um, we could do the butterfly as a brooch, maybe. As a brooch. Or and I have actually got a hair piece with a, uh, with a peacock in, for example. Oh. I have not put it out, I'll bring it out in a minute. Um, and you can put some of these pieces onto tiaras and, and little hair, hair grips or brooches, other things. But with this, I've put the butterfly into, into a necklace and you'll go through the whole process of making the entire necklace wow. from start to finish, the necklace sides and the clasp. So that would be... Let me just show you all the way around that because um, it's truly... I mean, you can thing. see how many people are on the phone line there and on the website there, Rachel. So, I mean, this is yes. so... It, it, I mean, how how long would a piece like this take, mate? That, Ooh. Something like this, because you take us through step by step. Yes. And like you said, you can use all the different components. Well, the whole for other point items. is, these pieces you can pick up and put down. You know, it may take a couple of days, right. two or three days to make the whole thing. Yeah. But not all in one go. Yeah. You know, you're making one piece and then another structural piece. That's nice. Because sometimes you, you might get fed up of doing something and you just think, oh, I just need a change. Yes. I need to just go and do something else, and then I'll come back to yes. it. And, um, yeah. Yeah. There, it's, all, it's all broken down to, into easy to manage chunks of. Of, of assembly and components and yes it, that, that entire Is piece will take um, you know a couple of days to make but the individual components themselves don't take that long it's sort of you know cumulative isn't it but yeah, yeah they're, they're, I've tried to design fun pieces but quality pieces that um, I try and make to the highest standard I can I mean I still mark the wire I still make kinks and bends and wire but I try and iron it out and try and make things look as professional as possible so Gosh, that's what I'm say, trying yes. to convey as well to, yeah. to make your pieces as professionally finished as possible um, and so yeah. this is just a different take on the techniques that you've already instigated yes. on here yes I can see that, that we're following through the leaf and obviously the butterfly I've done is add, I think I've added a few extra twirls yeah. in that one so yeah. it's just but it just the different look like you said you've used the same components but it's come up with something different very different in there. it's just to show the impact of, of, of the wow. pieces there well, there's a lot yeah. on the phone, <laughs> so please bear with us. Uh, you are going to be successful. It's a yeah. free phone number. We, we're getting those calls as, as quickly as we can. Uh, so I, I, I'm not going to lie, there's about 40 people queuing for this, uh, Rachel. There is enough availability, so please hold the line. Yeah. And, you know, that 0800 number is a free phone number from a local landline. Alternatively, you can go on our website, www.jurymaker.com, yeah. and log on, and then just proceed straight to checkout, because if you just put it in your basket, you, you could lose your DVD. Yes. Oh, good. I hope you're all successful. 
so I really do. And if you do need any advice um, at all afterwards, I'm there on Facebook. So if you get stuck at any stage, I do not mind you asking me. I don't quite know how to finish this bit off yeah um, can you send me a photograph of the back of something yeah. you know I've done that with additional one for, for people that got stuck in at a certain stage I'm yeah. really happy to help I'm delighted to help and also I love to see the pieces when they're finished yes. so if people could tag me oh, when they've yes. done a piece and I just love just looking at, the, at their take on it um, it's absolutely fabulous I really enjoy that element of it watching people take the design and bring it to life in their own way and um, with their own take on things it's just wonderful and you said obviously in mind this is a this is moving on from edition one yes if I haven't got edition one does it matter um, I mean you do need some of the techniques you do you probably do. need edition one right um, but um, you um, you can either ask um, Var JM um, for restocking yeah, yeah or ask me or ask like yes, I said very kindly myself, we yes. can just post yeah, yes. I'm just having a bit of difficulty. Yes. And obviously mm. by getting this that will because I know edition mm. three is in the pipeline. Yes, yes. The idea is these will Continue give a lovely through. transition then yes. into mm. and I've seen some of the potential yes. designs, turtles and, and Fish fishes and, and other things and shells. It's um, amazing. So it'll, it'll be a different uh, water theme basically for the next one. So and you've it's got all to get this because <laughs> I've seen what's in the pipeline for edition <laughs> three. Oh, hopefully we're, we're hoping to launch that later in the year. So mm. please, please, please don't miss out on getting edition two today. Make mm. sure you're there. I can confirm, and, and Rachel, you'll be chuffed yes. at meatballs about this. Uh, half the stock's been allocated. Gosh, that's wonderful. But we've still got wonderful. half the stock left, yes, so we're okay. So keep going, everyone. We're okay on the phone, <laughs> we're okay on the landlines, we're okay on the website. So web buyers, mm. don't forget to proceed straight to checkout because I know what happens. You get mesmerized by Rachel and her designs and then we lose our thought process and then we forget to mm. check out the basket. And we're rolling over the one postage packaging price that we were always already established with Debbie and uh, Lucy this morning. So mm. uh, we, we've got good availability. You know, we, we knew this was going to be popular. So I'm not trying to put the fear factor in there. I just want to make sure you, you're successful. And this yes. is, is this like another take? I um, think I've all I've done is added um, some wire um, spirals instead of adding gemstones so right. you can actually just take it down the to butterfly. Here, here wire, really and um, I don't know why but I put a little bit of purple jade in on I my head it. but you know it's a sort of single um, yeah, a splash single of colour yeah. there so and they're the actual mm. little faceted balls we had those on the show yesterday in a matrix box I've yes. got a lovely those um, actually come out as being the most wonderful these ones yeah. here yeah a really nice um, copper necklace they, yeah. I've just popped them in there I thought actually they, they work really well well funny enough I've got some splendid because obviously we've got some wire bundles coming up because you're on the show today um, and I've got a, a yellow gold matrix box coming up as well um, and they're probably going to be in there because I had those yesterday in a, a rose gold yellow gold silver box Brilliant. so yeah beautiful but it's a, it gives us a really good flavor of you know how the designs can just change slightly once you said you've used those individual components totally different gemstone will take change the look yeah. of the piece utterly and completely this is beautiful uh, don't forget sending your text messages I'm, I'm only mentioning this because I was talking to Liam and you know him and um, Ed Dog, Mad Dog. I've got the peridot tonight, so I'll just show you this leaf bracelet. I mean, they've got an exquisite uh, peridot strand, so I'm not sure of the shape, to be honest, that they've got, but I just mentioned, so it just takes on a whole new look, that technique with, you know, one strand pearls maybe, or mm. that is just stunning. We've had loads of messages already. Uh, let's read a few out. And obviously, Rachel and I are together Gosh. for the next four hours. Um, so keep them coming and we'll try. And you know, you said yourself, mm. we can post you. You've got your own Facebook I'm page. I'm really happy to answer any queries yeah. and questions. And, um, you know, I love the feedback. And actually, people have. Uh, it's, it's really inspired me to carry on and actually do the other DVDs. The fact that I have the feedback, it really gives me a boost. So well, James really is like feeding it. back. They're gorgeous. And he loves the Native <laughs> American Eagle. What's not to love? Thank you, James. We've got a uh, he Helen in Mid Morgan. Oh. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Rachel's on telly. Happy birthday to me. What a great birthday present. Oh. Love, Helen. Oh. Now, you want to say hello to somebody, don't oh, you? Oh, my uh, little, well, obviously, my two older children who are, are fine, but my little little one who's four um, was Superman with a blanket on his head. Oh, yes. And now, this is very over, familiar. And, Superman, uh, yeah. With a blanket on his head and tripped over and hit his head on yeah. the side of the fireplace. And he hasn't had stitches, but he had glue oh, on the side of his head. Jack. So I just want to say, all oh, my love, Jack. Okay, and hope you feel better. Yeah, Jack, mm. darling. Uh, that's like Jed. He has, he has a Spider-Man woolly hat, you know. But he thought it would be good because the eyes are appeared to pull it over his face. The, but yes. it didn't seem to <laughs> perturb him that he actually can't see where he's no. going. And he says, "I'm mm. going to fly down the stairs, mommy." And I was like, 
no, do you know what son like really that. move that from your eyes so you can mm. actually see doesn't matter mm. i can see what i'm doing mommy so yeah i can just yeah the head on the fireplace but but yes not exactly it's a blanket oh. on the head yeah yeah God. jack Darling, you're mm. such a brave boy, darling. Right, my, these are exquisite. We'll, we'll come back. Is it, we'll, if we leave these nearby. Oh, yes. yes. I'll, I'll Is that OK? Yeah, let's put them on mm. display behind us here. That would be useful. And then uh, we, we can come back and remind everybody about the DVD later as Fabulous. well. I think that would be great you. to do. Thank, Thank you, you. you very much. Uh, we'll be back, yes, in about 15 minutes with Rachel. So let's go back and uh, she wants some of my goodies. She, I want some of her goodies, quite frankly. Uh, she wants some of my goodies. She wants the lot, she says. We do need to give the lovely Rachel Norris a challenge. Perhaps you've got a challenge for her you could text in. That's what we had yesterday, 6077. Start your message, JM Studio. And uh, yeah, maybe you've got a challenge for Rachel. Don't make it too hard. She's a busy woman, you know. Uh, <laughs> but we are going to give her three strands from this next station, section. She wants it all. She says, I want it all, Fiona. Um, I, I'd love to give it her all, but we haven't got enough time. Right, let's start with box number eight, because these would look pretty in those designs. I was just thinking of the tail of the peacock. You know how Rachel had the three gems there? One was amethyst, one was peridot, I think one was an agate. Um, but this is my ruby zoocyte. So this is your zoocyte, this is what your tanzanite is the same family, discovered in 1957 in Tanzania. This is where the ruby flecks, and they can be quite pronounced, or they can be quite sort of um, non-pronounced you know it all varies can you see it there grows as an inclusion if you like within the gemstone now tanzanite when you dig it out the ground anyway is kind of brown and you can get those chameleon tanzanites that are blue to green so you can see how the zoocyte family does travel and um, you know you can see that relation so this is four millimeter round beads, 40 carats, my ruby zoocyte, AVGP14. Keep calling for the DVD as well. If you, if you don't, don't worry if you haven't got the code. You know, anything you're buying with me right now, you can always say, oh, and pop the DVD in my order. The call center will know. We deliberately did it at the start of the show, so it's an easy one to find, if you know what I mean. And it's the only DVD, pretty much, probably that I think we're doing today anyway, so. Uh, so you've got those gorgeous ruby flecks in this delicious green gem. So it's more than just a green gem. It's your, it's the original. This was discovered before, actually, your Tanzanite. And Zoocyte is the family name. So 40 carats. Uh, let's give you a fantastic price point on this to add to your basket. I want to get through as many as possible. I know under five pounds. I know. Buy two. Beautiful ruby zoocyte, and you know what would be nice about that is because of the red flecks or the purple flecks, you could just add another, or like a red gem or a coral gem or a ruby gem. I think I've got one strand of ruby left. I've got the most amazing offer on sapphire in today's show. So if you really want those high end, you know, the American eagle or the peacock or the butterfly, and you, you know, I, I love Rachel's designs because some of them are, are so the gem part can be minimalistic, you know, it's all about the wire work. So you can just use your gorgeous rich sapphires very sparingly in the designs. And I've got a 18 karat sapphire strand coming up towards the end of the show. So whatever you do, don't miss out. At 4.95, yeah, let's move on to the next one, darling. Let's do it. My pretty, pretty amethyst lavender amethyst in our puffy diamond squares and i've got two gorgeous rich purple strands which you know striped banded agate there and uh, the the darker amethyst drops doesn't that make a splendid trio mm, so just bear that in mind because you know you can really maximize that one postage packaging price 130 carats of my lavender amethyst drilled corner puffy squares 10 millimeter so a very gentle, gentle pink, very gentle lavender there. If you love morganites and quinsites, some of them almost like a powder lilac color there. Very pretty, there's some pretty tonality ranging from a, a, a deeper, more lavender to a, a, a paler lilac there as well. AHGP12, and of course, you know, here at Jewelry Maker, we deal in real gemstones. And a lot of our amethyst we get from the Zambia in Africa, a lot of our amethyst we get from Brazil. In fact, uh, where, where's this amethyst from, sweetie? Because of course, we're dealing in real gemstones. You've got the origin there on your screen. I haven't got it on mine, but. That's all right, he's too busy reading all the text messages for you, Rachel. What we need is a day of Rachel Norris. You know, four hours, one show is not enough. We need a, a mega marathon of the Norris. How do you feel about that? I'm happy with that. I think, I don't know if my husband would be though. <laughs> and your poor children. You know, she has other responsibilities, folks. <laughs> 
We just want more of you, darling, because we love you so much. We love your designs. Uh, righty ho. Where did we find out the origin, sweetie pie? Brazil, there you go. Yeah, I knew it had to be two of the big ones, that, you know, Af Africa or Brazil. And this is specifically because, obviously, the quality, and this is where a lot of amethyst is being sourced right now. But, let's, uh, you know, I'm really emphasising the preciousness and the reality of this genuine amethyst. 11 95 genuinely a, a bargain uh, at that price. An absolute bargain. Under £12. Deliciously beautiful, deliciously rare, deliciously valuable. You know, you know the prices we're selling at for real gemstones aren't necessarily the value of the worth of the strand. 11.95 AHGP12. Let's do some more. Let's do some more, darling. Yes, you can. And box number six is delicious as well. Um, look at these. A bright pop. Now again, I'm thinking of Rachel's designs. This would work beautifully. Look at that. Shall I get... Oh, she already wants it. She want, you can have anything you want, my darling. <laughs> anything you want at all. Uh, she wants this. The London Blue Colour Coated Quartz. 50 carats. See, I knew this would be good for, for H. Now, bit of a warning. Pick up the phone for this. It's going to sell out. I'm sorry to sound so bossy and demanding, but that is what's going to happen. So you need to pick up the phone. When I went, it's like yesterday with that Rutal Quartz, it's like yesterday uh, with the Ethiopia Opal. When you, you need to trust me on this, you need to pick up the phone and you need to make sure you're, you're not missing out. C-B-R-U-77, are you ready? Because the price today, because of our gorgeous Rachel, what she, what she gets. How about under 10 pounds for 50 carats of London blue color coated quartz, genuine quartz. Look at that genuine brilliance and clarity. You can see the strand going through it. No! It's not just going under 10, under five pounds. I know, it's shocking. It is. The workshop have left the room. They've all gone out in horror, they're on strike. I know, look at them, they've all just ran to their phones in the call centre to get this. 3.95. That's, uh, do you know what? We won't hear any text today from Gemma Crow because she's running the workshop. That's a bit of a shame, really. I, I wonder if she could text us in anyway. I know she's only just through the window, but we had so many lovely texts from her yesterday, didn't we? Three ninety-five, under four pounds. It is going to be a sellout, so make sure you add into your baskets. Get more than one. Rachel's chosen hers. What's that, my darling? Somebody from Texas has ordered your DVD. Just ordered this DVD. It's going to Texas. Love your show. Oh. That's Sissy. So Sissy has it, maybe she's sending it to someone in Texas. You're worldwide. Yes, thank you. Do you yes. know you're a worldwide well, phenomenon? It has gone. It has gone to quite a few countries actually. Wow. I think Spain and Spain. Um, quite a few American <gasps> buyers already have bought oh, it. Oh my so, word! Well, I don't know. Um, how I feel about You just about have this to be careful though because it's a PAL. DVD, you have to really make sure if you're if you're Compatible. buying it in America that you can play it. Yes. Um, and make sure your computer is set up or whatever to pay the pay. You can play power. on the laptops though. You, I you know can that. Play them, yes. But to be honest, a lot of the DVDs because I used to have that problem. You know when you import American DVDs, a lot of them now are pretty um, matched up to it. But yeah, yes. we can get it on our lap. We put it on yes. our laptops. But yeah. I don't know about you going worldwide <laughs> because then you might just get too. I'm not saying you get too no. big for your boots, but you might just get too big and not be able to be on the James show anymore. Do you know what I mean? You'll be on the the Carson show and stuff like that. that and just be like. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he's around anymore, but you know, the, the, the fellow does it. The Joey, uh, not the Joey, uh, I don't know. You'll be on chat shows and you won't be with us anymore. The Late Show. And, oh, I don't know. Letterman, yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. We could lose you. I don't want to lose you. Oh, I'll still always be loyal to JM. Always, oh, that's okay. always. That's okay. Yeah. We don't mind going to Texas now, after all. <laughs> Sissy, well done. You're spreading the word. You're an ambassador for the channel. Uh, let's do another one because I want to give this to uh, the lovely Rachel. She, she, whatever she wants, she can have. Beautiful. No, oh, she's taking it. She's taking it. What do you want, darling? Oh, yes, please, because it would go beautifully with what Rachel's just snaffled. Blue color-coated pyrite. She's nodding. Do you want this as well, darling? Yes please. yes, please. She could have it. I know, 105 carats. Look at that blue with that fantastic London blue color-coated quartz. You could have it. 105 carats. St actually could I be could I just snap that back just, just for a second well, yeah maybe. to show them together and then I'll give them, give them you it. both yeah before she cuts it she's already got the snippers out perfect with copper wire look at this she's already thinking and I've got some great copper wire deals 
That's what she's thinking. Look great with a copper wire. She knows. This woman knows what she's doing. Don't miss out. Make sure you're there to snaffle both. And you can do what Rachel's doing. I know. Could my voice get any higher? Uh, I'm just very excited. Let's bring in the price. This is our blue colour-coated pirate graduated faceted ovals 9.95. It's the blue, it's so pretty. And the facets, lots of you there on the phone sharing the same ideas as our Rachel. Already the creative juices are flowing. I'm thinking I'm loving the tassels as well. That's all right, sweetie. Let's, we've got to get it on. We've got to get it, you know, I've got to show as much as possible because once we get to talking to Rachel, I, 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 I just don't want to do anything else, quite frankly, other than talk about her designs. Under 10 pounds and I'll, I'll forget to sell you something, <laughs> bring you something. Brand new strand, KWRU13. Um, but if you fancy a brand new strand, there's one coming up. I haven't seen this strand before, so it might have been on air once before. But I've got a brand, 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 brand new premiere. Okay, they're yours, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Please. you, my darling. Box number three. It's like sweeties. Nine ninety-five was that was for my blue color-coded pyrite. Look at these. They are a joy. They make your heart spring into a leap because they're so pretty look at those turquoise bright pink purple violet teal cerise cherry red orange fruit they are gorgeous and you know they've got kind of got a crackle aspect within them as well they've got this wonderful metallic rainbow coating pggp31 so we're getting such a pretty luster and shine. They look so like, like, like sweeties, don't they? Well. She wants those as well. You can have those as well. Be enough. <laughs> That's it. She wants them all. I did tell you she wants them all. Sold. Done to, done to Rachel. Okay. Rachel can have them for free, quite frankly. <laughs> uh, PGGP31, but at home, I'm afraid, there is a nominal charge, but it's going to be a corker. 8.95 beautiful choices there rachel's choices you're following suit i don't blame you absolutely gorgeous under nine pounds look at that and the crackle in them you can see as well get them now and then you know rachel can talk through what she makes at the end of the show and you can make that as well aren't they beautiful you can see that crackle within them there pretty with the flowers what are you thinking? Can I can I pick your brains? What are you thinking? Um, they're like sort of, oh, they're like beautiful sort of jeweled sweets, and they got yeah. um, you could make flowers with them. Um, you can do a sweetie brooch, can you? Um, see if I can fill a, a butterfly wing with them. <gasps> and see what what I can do with that. Ooh. I've got a pendant that I'm going to fill with some gemstones, and they're all colours that will complement. These three stand, strands will go so well together. Actually, they've got really good complementary colours. We have time for all yeah. of that. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is amazing because I, I rattle on and on and on and we spend about two hours making things with Rachel and mm -hmm. then you look round and, and, and she's got a cascade of beautiful things she's made and I think when did that happen <laughs> when did when were you doing that because I've been bothering you for four hours and talking to you and I don't see it happen well I see some... arms going like this and wire <laughs> and that's about it and I just think when did she make that there's a little make... bit of cheating going on but we'll see how it goes <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what she means by cheating I think well you're working now that's not cheating you're, you know you got it, really. Rightio. Can we do another one? That's for Rachel. I'm going to leave that there for Thank your sweetheart. You. I won't ask for any more. I think that's perfect. Actually. Okay, Thank darling. Thank you so much. That's lovely. She says that now. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'll tell you what. Th number six is delicious. Um, this is my Iolite. Pretty uh, faceted rondelles. And you've got purples. You've got blues. You've got violets. Look at that sparkle. My Indian armor I light. Stunning. 80 carats. And again, what I love about the eye light is that pleochroism. It's a feature in the gem where you see more than one color. The silvery blues, the violet blues, the navy blues, all sparkling. Yes, let's do this one quickly so I can fit in my gorgeous tiger's eye because it's so delicious. Not to belittle my eye light, but I, I want to fit in the tiger's eye. IOGK38. Under ten pounds, it's my designer inspiration. Nine ninety-five, and all the, I know we've had texts about the wire bundles. They are a coming. Um, I've got some pretty rich blue. Just look at those with the eye light. 
Yeah, right, brand new Surrounded Tiger's Eye. Let's do it because I want to fit it in. And it's so pretty, it's the shapes. I just, oh, looky, looky, looky. Look at those, look at those. Are they pretty? Are they? And you can really see the, the toyancy, that, look at that one there, you, you know, the dark, chocolatey, fudgical goodness and then the caramel goals. And because they're cutting those marquises, it's running all the way along the length. Can you see that? Yeah. See, close the eye, open the eye. Open the eye, <laughs> close the eye. Beautiful. Oh, look at those. They are a pretty delicate shape, aren't they, Rachel? Mm. They're really, uh, sometimes you get big, I love the big chunks of tiger's eye, but you know, you can actually put those in a, in a little single set of earrings or um, yeah. you can feature that in a little pendant and, or in a cluster of Java gemstones and it won't overpower, it'll just be part of it and it's beautiful. Beautiful. It's a beautiful stone anyway, actually. Oh, yeah. It is, isn't it? There's many ways you don't want to overpower that because the beauty is so much. Let's uh, bring it to you, it's brand new. Let's bring on a price slash and then let's go talk to Rachel. 795, it's brand new for me, but apparently it has aired. That's a brand new price. So it might have aired before, but it's new to me and that's a brand new price. Never seen at this low. 795 previously, but 495 for you, you gorgeous jewelry makers today. Thank you for all your lovely texts. If we read them all, there'll be no time to see any of Rachel's design. So thank you for that. That's not a criticism, but we'll try and help you with any, any uh, questions that you've got. But don't forget, we can uh, individually message Rachel as well. E ECG P23 used to be 7.95 for you today, 4.95. Congratulations. And now we're going to take a moment. Don't go anywhere. The show's not ended. We're just getting ourselves ready to go and talk to Rachel. She's going to take us through our first demonstration, a demonstration of wire work. And uh, yeah, we're going to have lots more fun. There's so much to see. Don't forget my 18 carats of sapphire. Gorgeous. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Book now to take part in the Gemporia experience. Take a behind the scenes tour of our TV studios, meet the presenters and learn about gemstones and jewellery. The price of £169 includes an overnight stay at the picturesque White Swan Hotel, a buffet lunch, refreshments and a three course dinner. Dates are limited, so call or email us now for an experience you'll never forget. Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. Join guest designer Louise Jacobson for our Wirework Rings DVD. This DVD contains a step-by-step -step guide on how to use a ring mandrel, create single and double stone rings, cluster rings and much more. Get the inspiration and help you need to create your very own handmade jewellery. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. Tune into Jewellery Maker every day at 5pm for our Miss It Miss Out show, where we'll have four hours of jam-packed deals including clearance offers, end of line, last in stock and low, low prices. The Miss It Miss Out Show, only on Jewelry Maker.
Hi, I'm going to introduce some wire bundles for you and then we're going to go and see Rachel. I've got a dragonfly for you that she's going to make, but I'm going to bring you, I know you've been desperate for the point four, and we've got the point six. I'm going to show you something that you could make, a hundred meters of both. And I know the design that we're going to discuss with Rachel, the dragonfly, uses the larger gauges. So later on, I will bring you the larger, during Rachel's presentation, I'll bring you the larger gauge of 1.5 and one millimeter so that you can complete her design okay so that's in a moment we'll do those but right now you need to get these because this is what you can make yes isn't that stunning so part and parcel of this is of course your point four or your point six beautiful isn't it and of course those gemstones that you're seeing I will bring you in a moment when I go to see Rachel so let's launch this 100 meters of both and I know you've been asking for more and more of the point four and the point six now I envisage the this bundle is going to sell out because the point four being the key element here. Uh, OFG C68. But the thing is, we've got the point six there as well. And I'm sure it wouldn't be too problematic to swap and change those different gauges there. You've got 100 meet meters of both there. OFG C68. Um, I'm going to give you an amazing price, absolutely amazing price. Get ready on the phone lines. We will bring you the larger gauges. £34.90 is not what you're going to pay. No, it's what you, you should be paying, but it's not what you're going to be paying. So instead sort of £34.95, £19.95. Yes under 20 pounds so instead of 35 pounds under 20 pounds 10 pounds a reel instead of 17 pounds 50 a reel so uh yeah so whatever you do don't miss out there's 100 meters of the point six, 100 meters of the point four. the two gauges there and this is what you can make we're going to discuss the dragonfly i'm going to bring you the blue gemstones and we're going to bring you the larger gauged wire of 1.5 and one millimeter for the structure of the dragonfly in the mid presentation okay so that's coming up as well you need both basically is what i'm saying you need both to give you the structure and then all the wrapping they, they are selling out quickly i'm down to 50 percent at the stock now we started with 100 i've got 50 left so well done uh, mary hanny christina alexandra lorraine Anne marie vivian sabine what a lovely name sabine uh mary karen christine diane vivian gorgeous uh pamela loads of you there i'm down to 50 percent at the stock though so which is about 50 because there was 100 to start so 100 meters of the point four 100 meters of the point six and then i'll bring you the larger gauge one millimeter 1.5 in a moment once we get talking and get underway with our presentation i'm going to go see rachel we're going to bring you the three gemstone strands stay on the line what we will do is keep that code at the bottom of the screen and we'll launch the gemstones and we'll put those to the side of the screen so stay on the line and you gorgeous web bidders don't forget to check out your baskets because there's only a hundred of that bundle uh, available today at this 90.95 instead of 34.95 that's a mega bundle isn't it now, the gemstones, yeah. have I got the gems? Yes, I've left the gemstones, that's not very helpful, is it? Sorry, everybody. Too busy looking at Rachel and her designs. <laughs> I didn't have a ring, ring stand, so I'm sorry about that. It's that's all right, down. darling, we'll find one. That's okay, I'll tell you what, I'll wear it. I'll be the ring stand. <laughs> I will wear it. Okie dokes. Let's put the ring on so that everybody can see what you've made. And let me just show the gemstones that you've used, that we gave you, because they are inspired. Because what we've got, we've got the rice beads, but then we've got these faceted, hexagonal faceted gems, uh, both mm. in the gold coloured rose, well, in the sort of copper colour coated hematite, five millimetre rounds. Then I've got my lapis lazuli regular faceted beads that are eight millimetre, 135 carats, and then 120 carats of the lapis lazuli rice beads that are 12 by six. So these are three gemstone strands. I'm just wearing one of the rings um, that Rachel's made. I, I, admittedly, there are some of the, the gold plated balls there. We had those on yesterday, didn't we? Um, but look at that wire wrapping and two of those lapis faceted beads there, beautiful. And this is what Rachel's used in the bangle. And obviously in the dragonfly that we're gonna take you through step by step to make now. Yeah, oh, he's upside down, sorry. <laughs> I love his little eyes. So for these three gorgeous gemstone strands, 
should have been paying 2780 but we love you and we love Rachel, so we're going to do something extraordinary. The wires at the bottom of the screen now, I'll keep you updated on that availability. We will bring the larger gauge as well. 24.95, two strands of lapis and the golden coloured hematite there as well. Copper, well, it's, it's, well, it's like a copper, well, it's more gold and brass. Sort of those. Yeah, it's in between. Yeah. Uh, if I get some of my gold coated hematite, it's a, it's still a different tone. Yeah. And actually, it's, it's got an antique That's feel it. to it. That's what it's got, yes, um, the antique gold, isn't the it? The facets from that then follow through to the facets in the lapis. Yes. And then it then continues, you can use the different, they really well, match well together, actually, the two shapes and the facets on them too. Um, Beautiful. You can't beat this colour combination. is lovely. It's very yeah. obviously it's timeless, isn't it? Yes. Like thousands of years ago, well, this exactly, colour combination yeah. was used. But um, very much so. So uh, I really enjoyed working with the the stones together. I thought they were lovely to work with. Well, let's yeah. have a look at some of your designs then that you've worked with using those gems. So the dragonfly is something we're going to concentrate on. This is just some of the inspired designs you've made, as well as that bangle and the ring. Um, the, the techniques from this actually are in edition one. So if you've got edition one, you'll be able to know how to make the leaf and the wings of the dragonfly. Ah, right. So um, actually anybody um, wanting to embellish the dragonfly shape that I make today, That's just okay. use some of the techniques from edition one and bring them in and incorporate them into the pieces that you make. So you can okay. do that as well. Um, this says our beautiful ring. So this is mm. the. So we are going to do a version of the dragonfly if you hadn't um, got edition necklace, one. Yes. So this is the necklace mm. here we're going to make today. And I can see that the large gay wire is used in that as well, which I'll bring mm. you later in the show once we get underway with Rachel. Isn't that amazing? So there are the gemstones. Absolutely stunning. Love these. The way you've got the rice beads on the vertical there and then the, the, the hematite in between. Stunning. Yes, I hope we'll have time to show those components because um, it was a really nice way of um, adding a bead to 1.5 millimetre wire, which you can't necessarily thread on. No. So I had to think of, oh, how do I, on earth do I embellish it? So um, I've basically wrapped a beady bead round, and oh, I'll like show you how. Barrel. Yes, ah, I'll show you how to do that. Um, there's a few structural elements inside it, but um, that's how, how they're made. So we'll go through that if we've got time. Fantastic. I'll just quickly show the other two designs, and we'll get underway. So here we go, just to inspire you further with Rachel's work. Seems a show, well, you know, I've got to show them. I, I don't want to not to, because they're so spectacular. Because I'm not quite sure why I made that, but, but I sort of, I don't do funky, really. And I thought, I'll try a funky piece. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, so um, I thought, I'll, I'll try that one and see if it works. Some people will like to make for younger people and, yeah. uh, you know, and all across all ages. And I exactly. thought, well, and then this Tiny spectacular copy. piece. We will get these photographed as well and on the website. Stunning. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Just put my hand behind it because the dark lap is there. And that was an experiment because Isn't I first amazing? just wove the um, panel together and then actually the whole formation of the pendant has made the panel stand out. So it's actually got three dimensions to it. If you turn the, the pendant around, you can see it's actually got, it actually is concave oh, inside. Yes and the process of bringing the pendant together with a smaller surround helps make that um, concave and it's standing out, that stands out and it's quite firm, it won't be pushed in. Yes it is, it's so very... Right yeah. darling, I'll right. let you Let's get going. take it away, right. yes, oh. it's closer to you. Oh yes, I can see what I'm doing, yeah, exactly. I'll forget, I'll forget course, bits and pieces. It's like you have to remember your lines, um, you know, <laughs> before I show. Now, um, first of all, may I start, is that okay? Are we ready to go? Let me know, everyone. Yes. Right. First of all, we want to make um, the structural, whole structural frame, and this 1.5 wire is absolutely brilliant for that sort of thing. Um, you can make it in one millimetre wire if you're not happy with using the larger gauge, but I just wanted to show you its potential um, for real strength. And Those um, I'm going to bring know. in a moment, mm. actually, the 1.5 and but the 1. But if you, if you haven't got 1.5, use one, 1, but the 1.5 just adds something to it, I think. I really enjoyed using it. So using about a metre of 1.5 millimetre wire, we're just going to sort of shape, start in the centre, to shape the little tail section. Now, I'm always in the wrong place, so you've got to tell me off if I am. Um, and also I'm doing this so that you can see and so I can't see. So again, I might be pushing it uh, or putting it towards me so I can see. Squash, make a little um, V and squash it with the pliers so that you've got as tight as V as possible. Insert the tips of the pliers in quite close to that V and push with your fingers up. We're going to make a little sort of tail section. We'll be able to use that to add beads on to as a little sort of anchor point later on. Try and get this next loop the same size as the other, and I might not because I'm doing it quite quickly, but really make an effort 
and to, to make sure that that is the same size. I'm just going to push. This is the sort of the bit where I suppose you're making the most, um, you were having to work with the wire hardest. I'm squashing. The, this is the one side. Yes, squashing either side and you've made a little base to the tail. Then I'm going to shape the little abdomen just with my fingers because this wire it hasn't been work hard and it's beautifully soft to work with and this is a really thick gauge wire mm. um, I've worked with work very work hardened 1.5 millimeter wire and you have to hammer it into shape right this is absolutely beautiful wire well, to we, work we, with we've just got it on the screen now so I'll, I'll just bring on a price for you darling because I mm. did promise I'd bring the 1.5 and the one millimeter um, I'm going to bring you both of these now because obviously you're talking about it this is 100 meters of the one millimeter and the 1.5 that Rachel is using right now that's 10 millimeters uh, let's get that price on for you. P Q G C thirty six should be paying thirty seven pounds ninety, but we can do better than that because Rachel is with us and we are all feeling inspired. And we need to get the DVD, so we're going to give it to you for thirty two ninety five. A good um, five pounds saving there. So hundred meters of the one millimeter, ten meters of the one point five. Back to our design that's there on the screen for you. Well, I've shaped one side of the abdomen already and you've just got to make sure that you get the neck the other side exactly the same. So I've curved that round and I make sure at this point that everything is as symmetrical as possible. Um, spend a bit of time judging it, even if you've got an outline. Um, quite good if you, the photographs are all taken so they'll be up on the website later on. If you can get a print out of them and um, lay your wire over it, it makes your life a little bit easier when you're actually forming the first shapes of the body. So please take advantage of the Jewelry Maker Facebook page, get those images um, and uh, download them or um, print them off and you've got a great set of templates. I've got all the stages photographed for you on the Facebook page. So I'm just going to make one set of rings, just one side, because I really want to move on to the next stages as quickly as we can, because we've got a lot to cover. So um, coming up at an angle, shaping the wing round, making a slight curve with my finger, and then another tight curve back. And we make, need, just need to make sure the top wing is just a little bit bigger. I'm clamping, by the way, just to help straighten this wire out clamping with the pliers just to, and my fingers just to help shape it. Top wing a little bit bigger than the other. I'm just going to make one side and then we move on to the next bit. So this won't be beautifully um, shaped quite yet. You spend a bit of time obviously. Well it know, gives us the technique you know, and then because so obviously we understand. No, you understand. You've got to demonstration say, purposes. Yeah. So yeah. normally you just spend a bit of time getting this perfect. So I've got the upper ring and the lower ring. Wing. Then sharp angle upwards and then we're just going to insert some round nose pliers just to make a place where we're going to be attaching the eye pieces. Now you can use round nose pliers, you can use a bit of um, a gizmo mandrel, let's use a gizmo mandrel to show you, uh, yeah large gizmo mandrel actually will, will do really well actually to shape it round. So a little bit further along uh, maybe half a centimetre long, just do a curl round. And so that's a really good use for a, for a gizmo mandrel. Now, I haven't given enough space there, so what I'm doing is just adjusting that slightly, pushing up with my fingers and I'm making sorry that. To sorry to yes, re regress see that. if you already said this. How much it. length of wire did you use? To I used just about a metre. Okay, sorry, These right. bits, if you use, if you cut them off, you can use them for the swells. Oh, okay. So it doesn't matter if you use a little Start bit longer or you can use, yeah. you know, use them for other bits. So yeah. I'd rather use, uh, or even the connectors. So I'd rather use too much. There's nothing worse because the wings always take more than you yeah. think they're going to. Right, yeah. Then actually, you, you know, you run out of wire. That's a disaster. So too much, not enough, and then you can use the bits later on. So that's one half. Uh, make the other side exactly the same to be a mirror image. Yes, lovely. Okay. Right, I'll put that bit away. And next, we're going to make some swirls to add onto the body. So there's lots of crackling of um, bubble wrap. That's OK. <laughs> Crackle away. The... We don't mind. We're excited to we, see what's up next. We sort of want to make this arrangement on the wings. We want to make these patterns on the wings. I'm not going to do a weave like we did in edition one of the DVD. We're going to add some spirals because a lot of people are using spirals. I love using spirals yeah. in my work. So that is what I've done. So I've made some spirals. I'm just going to make one up to show you. 
Um, the lengths, I don't know, have you got a beading board? V. I don't know whether you could possibly get the lengths that for me for these so I can tell the viewers exactly which what length I use I'll to make find, the spirals. I'll find one darling, yeah, um, I'll, I'll, shall I just measure behind you on the Yes, board? that'd be absolutely wonderful if you could and then yeah. if you just tell them exactly how long it is, that'd be lovely. So I've made two um, spiral lengths, one to fit on the top wings, one to fit on the bottom wings. About eight inches, Rachel. Eight inches yeah. for both. One would yeah. be a little bit shorter. Oh, yes. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, Sorry, Fee. And for the top wing, you need an eight inch um, length of uh, one millimetre copper wire. And for the bottom, um, to fit in this particular frame, um, you need... Um, again, you can make these up smaller, actually. If you made this uh, dragonfly up smaller, you can make smaller spirals to go in. But this will just be for this one. You're really kind. Seven and a half and nine and a half. Brilliant. Perfect. So, I lied. Wonderful. Thank you. That's lovely. So we've got the lengths now. So, um, taking those off, I'm just going to make one up so you can see. So, um, I think spirals are sort of ubiquitous. We all use them. Um, we use them to hype to to um, end a piece, a piece of wire. You want to make it into a detail. Um, they're really lovely features in jewellery. Alison Howe uses them a lot. I mean, all the designers use these wonderful um, shapes of wire. The wire tends to love shapes and curls. It naturally forms. I'm just inserting the round nose pliers. I've cut off the end to make it a perfect circle. And the wire loves to go into a circle. And this itself. is the gauge that is. I'm using one, one millimetre on this one, yes. 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 So yes. Seven and a half inches and eight and a half inches. Yes. Yeah. I'm making the spiral slightly uh, wider, I suppose, in. Um, in its formation than, than the ones I've used. And I'll show you a quick trick for actually making these spirals a little bit um, tighter. Just squeeze with the, round nose, with the, fat, the chain nose pliers in. If you've made it too loose, just squeeze gently inwards. You can make the spiral go smaller if you, f if you feel that at the stage you can shape it. So you can see how I shaped that. Mm. Did you get that? So I've got one side done. And I'm going to quickly do the other side and shape that. Again, I cut off the end because it always ends up being not quite circular. And you can make a really good circular spiral by just cutting that um, end off. And then I'm just trying to keep this as still as possible so the camera can <laughs> focus You're doing a great. Bit. We're following, we're there. And then okay. I'm going to wrap with my fingers actually. And then I can do that a little adjustment um, with the pliers if I want to. Uh, make this even. I'm doing this very quickly. So make sure those spirals, look at that, wrap, uh, little chain nose pliers with nice little fine tips can fit in these spaces but you can put these in here and make the spiral a little bit neater. So um, wrap this up until you feel it will fit into your body shape um, nicely like so. Obviously that might need a bit more adjustment. And so the centre curve is in the centre of the body of the dragonfly. I'll move that into the centre so you can see it more easily. And we can start to bind them into place. And I'll put that away because that's too rough to use. I'll use the ones that I've made already. That one just has a gentler curve on it. This is obviously going to fall apart unless we start to bind it together. So I'm going to use 0.4 millimetre wire which we launched actually, earlier yes. so um, oh, goodness it and um, it's almost wonderful wire to use yes so, so if you uh, we, we were down to about 50 so check with the call center if there's any of that left it was the 0.4 and the 0.6 Excellent. 100 meters of both i think we're going to get it up mm. as the main graphic as well so this is your binding now i'm not going to use as long as i used in the actual piece because we're going to be it speed quite quicker basically to use a shorter speed okay um, wire for demonstration but i would use just over a meter uh, or a fingertip to fingertip length will probably do it Bind the um, two pieces together. This is the fiddliest part of it all, really. Start in the centre of the wire and bind the two cur curly spirals together. And I'm doing this very quickly, but you want to make sure your winding and wrapping is as neat and pulled in as tight as possible. If you feel that uh, things aren't um, beautifully together. There's about 16 of that bundle left, Rachel, you know, oh the point four and the gosh. point six, and there's yeah. 15 in baskets. So we're down to the last 16. So the 15 that are in baskets that haven't checked out, you're in danger of losing it because there are people on the line for the last 16 bundles now. So the gorgeous 15 of you with it's in your basket, you need to check out. 
Okay. So we're just binding that together. Binding together. I've probably bound just under or over about a centimetre or just in between these two little points of the dragonfly, yeah. enough so we can start to fix it. So, and shape it, make sure there's a vaguely in the centre. You can always reshape and bend the wire once, um, you know, once it's in place. Um, now, pass the wire over both the frame and, um, and the um, from, from the one millimetre section over the frame and in a diagonal point, diagonal direction across and start, uh, try and put it, um, pass it around the right way. Pass it round so that it's in the direction of the wing tip, not the wrong way like I did. And pull it quite tight because this is going to start to bind this section together and wrap a couple of times for the minute. Would you just show me that up vertically, darling? Yes. Just so, uh, we, well, we I'll do it for the other side, point, actually. Right? So Thank I'm going to do it for the other side, and so you will be doing exactly the same thing. That's so I'm, just gonna I'm looking from above now, so no, I can brilliant. see. Thank you, Fee. So on the other side, you're going to do exactly the same thing as we did for this side. So I'm just going to anchor to this little point yes. here. Yes. Pass the wire the through here in at the little intersection of the wing once round. So I'm doing it so I can see it. I forget no one else can, you see and then pass in the diagonal direction over and start to wrap around the top of the abdomen at the base of this lower wing and start to wrap around a few times and this is already starting to you won't think but it is starting to bind this section together quite nicely um, actually I know that um, it still has some play in it but as we bind a bit more it will it'll all hold together. Four left of that bundle now so don't forget to check out, we're down to the last four of the 0.4 and the 0.6 bundle for 19.95. So that's why I got pointed at Rachel's head. Uh, that's okay. the, this here. There we are. <laughs> and then continue to um, wrap along the base of the wing. And I'm going to move on to the next stage, actually, okay. because I'm just going to continue to wrap along the base of each wing until you get to the point where you meet this spiral ah. here. OK, because we want to actually fix all this in place. Um, a bit better than this. And it so gives a nice effect on the um, on the wire, yes, doesn't it? The, 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 yeah, yes, the texture. Yeah, the texture. And they're also great gripper points, you know, these little spirals. If you actually sort of um, click another piece of wire into it, they act as little, lovely little gripper points to, right. the, to the wire for attachments, or to the, the, the outer wire for attaching other things to. Now here, I've wrapped here, done that crisscross, wrapped along the bottom ring, wing, Wrapped five or six wraps. One, two, no, sorry, seven wraps around. Right, my darling. Would you just say all of that yeah. again? I'm ever so sorry, sorry. just because I think your head was yeah. overshadowing from above. That's okay, sweetie. No. So what you're saying is okay. so important. I know people. Yes. So what? This was um, all the work we've just done here, and you said we've anchored, wrapped, uh, done that crisscross to anchor, yeah. wrapped along the base swing. Yeah. Done about six or seven wraps around both wire yeah. wires. Um, to start to attach this spiral, continued up to the tip of this wing, yeah. and I'm just going to show you the attachment here. Uh -huh. um, in fact, I'd like to show you the attachment of this side first, if you don't mind. Sure, yeah. And so to wrap around both wires, again, you just have to make sure they're all placed properly. And we're going into the coil, aren't we? Are we going into the coil, darling? Well, no. No, we're, no, we're just I'm literally on the on the outside too. Oh, I see. see? Right. This is just. Yes forming, um, strengthening the structure, forming ad additional detail. So seven wraps around both, making sure these wires are close together um, as you um, wrap each other around. Make sure they don't cross. The last thing you want is a crossed wire because you really do notice it, especially on close up with cameras. I often take pictures of my pieces under close and it's horrible because you see it under close up and you see a mistake and you can go back and rectify it your eyes sometimes don't pick up these things and the camera will so it's ever so useful taking pictures and photography of pieces not only for a record and visual record of what you've done but also to, as a check because they can see things that your eyes can't can I ask you to step one little bit towards okay. me Yes. That's it. Sorry. Thank you, darling. Then, uh, We're just losing you off screen. <laughs> you're running work, away, no. wasn't I? Think I was running away. You're fine, darling. So, it's fine. And then um, I've done about six or seven wraps. Yeah. And then I catch the wire under the the frame and then pull very tight. And this is the bit where you have to bring your flowers in and just maybe push up a little bit. Push that wire very gently up, so it's locked in tight. That's right next to the other wire now. There's no gaps between in the frame. So I, what I do, I do continue up that side. I do fix that top one. I'll, I'll just ignore that bit because we're going to move straight on to that bit. Just to show here, I'm looking round the top of the spiral. Okay, 
Okay, we're all right there. And then round both. couple of times, maybe six or seven times again, just to add strength. Again, I'm holding with my thumb and forefinger over both wires to actually help keep things bound closely together. And I'm pulling very tight with my wire just to make sure everything binds really closely together. I'm getting really tangled as well, sorry about that. I think you've just got to imagine that I've done that really nicely because I haven't. I've actually gone through. If you do, um, if you do find you've done something silly like I have, just unpick it and do it again. Okay. okay. But um, I think you're just going to have to bear with me today. So I stop there and then I just cut off and tuck in. But you need about uh, three or four wraps along that top section there, more right. than I've done. But I just want to show you this attachment here next. I'm going to do the awful thing and cut this off. Okay. All right. Dreadful thing. And then I'm just going to show you, because I haven't finished that, the, the attachment to the top. Now, um, thank you. We're going I to don't just. Know if needed. <laughs> no. I'll uh, just pick up any bits again if you need them. <laughs> um, just take, again, about a metre and a half of um, the 0.4 wire. I do use a lot of wire <laughs> in my pieces. I think there's, I think there's two left of that bundle, so at the do prices, check out. I know. You know it, it's a savings. Important experiment. So with this one, we're. Um, attaching the top um, section together. Right. And... Sorry. Yeah, sorry. That's and fine. then all I'm doing, I start off... Bear with me. Are you thinking I've got another section? I just want to make sure I'm doing another it in the right order. So we want to end up with a piece that looks like, like that. So I want to attach, start off with attachment here. Ah, I want to start yes. to... Make, stop this pulling apart. And it's also attached to the middle of the butterfly, isn't it? Yes. So you're exactly. bringing that so the down whole to here. Thing and is yeah. a crisscross of intersection of strength. Right. So I start off in the middle of the wire and just a t a wrap a couple of times round here. This is all going to be covered up with beadwork, so you don't have to be incredibly neat. And those beads are on the screen now. You do want things at the same level. Um, so I want to make sure that this. Um, if I wrap underneath this frame a little bit, it'll help hold these um, um, eyes eventually at the same level as each other because you don't want to sort of cross-eyed or wonky-eyed dragonfly. <laughs> um, it's worse than a wonky-eyed dragonfly, quite <laughs> it wouldn't, frankly. It wouldn't be right. So the next thing to do is just make a crisscross across this body. Um, to, again, that crisscross adds strength to the um, frame. Mm -hmm. Basically, opposite, you're basically passing to the opposite side from that top section. Yeah. And then back up towards here. And it doesn't matter if you're passing twice, you're adding just extra strength. And then start to wrap around the top wing in exactly the same way that we did for the bottom wing. So we're actually going to add the, the detail of the, of the wing wrapping to the top wing on this ah, one. Ah, yes, I can see, yeah. And then you can see how I'm wrapping round. As I wrap, I obviously wrap round the wire and then push with my finger so that the wires and the loops stay as close together as we can. You find there's, there's gaps in between, because we're not using gizmo cords, we're actually hand wrapping this, you see, um, to make it as, as neat as possible, that there is gaps. You can use your pliers to push them together. Or your fingernails, if your fingernails are up so to it. So keeping as close to the centre body there, isn't yes, it? Yes, or the, keeping those little wraps as close as you yeah. can to each other. And I've just right. ironed out any sort of little kinks in that. Again, with the other side, um, you're doing exactly the same thing. Passing across at the base of that top wing. Making sure I catch my finger in the kink in a loop before it to stop it kinking. That's one useful trick and technique to to have, and it just helps iron out any kinks before they form. If you feel that the wire is kinking, move the wire very slowly, catch the kink, and straighten it out. Um, you can r pass it through your conditioning cloth for Viking weave or through a jumper uh, or a piece of felt and just whip the felt along the, any kinked wire. You can straighten out kinks if you've, if you've got one, um, but just try and avoid it before you even start it if you can. Okay. So I've wound round to start this frame 
Uh, again, I might have done a few extra wraps around here to help hold this top bit together. Mm. So if you can, if you see any play in it, just keep on wrapping until that's fairly firm. We're going to move straight on to this piece, and I'm just going to talk through what we did with the wrapping along the wings, because it's exactly the same as for the other right. other piece. I I'll think there's about 20 way. of the gemstone bundle left now with the lapis and the colour-coated uh, sorry, the gold, sort of copper coated, looks like antique gold to myself and Rachel, uh, pi uh, hematite. So it's only about 20 of it, so don't forget to check out. I know I keep going on about it, but when we get to such limited numbers, I'm afraid you might nice. miss out if you don't check out because mm. a phone buyer can take it. Uh, and these, gemstones pay, yeah. these gemstones are so nice to and work they are with so as well. Pretty, yeah. So we've now finished the frame um, and we've wrapped around the top wing and I've also wrapped along to trap the top um, swirl of the dragonfly here. So we've actually, as we've wrapped along, I've caught and trapped this bit, and I've also caught and trapped this bit here. Marvellous. Now I'm just going to do this while you're trapping. Oh, have I moved the thing? That's sorry. Oh. You're gravitating <laughs> off screen, darling. Yeah. We, love, we love watching what you're doing. You're running away. Uh, <laughs> and then these I've trimmed to the overhead. I can't move, you see. So. Uh, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight centimetres from here. We've got an eight centimetre length, which we're going to um, swirl down later on to form um, some spirals. In fact, I might do that now. Yeah, you see. Fantastic. So if, um, if you've all caught that, it's just basically um, wrapping along here, wrap, catch that um, loop in there to hold it, wrap once there, and continue down the side of the wing and wrap there and tuck in really really neatly here because you do not want anything catching mm -hmm. so as you tuck in I'll just show you the technique obviously you've cut the wire to a short level and just stroke the wire around and press it inwards and make sure there's no sharp ends run your fingers over a piece and make sure there's no sharp ends so the next thing we're going to do is bind some beads to the body well, if you, would you mind if I very quickly brought in some at this point? Not at all. Some, some tools. All my stuff that's right, sweetie. That's yeah. Perfect. Before we bind beads, um, I'm going to bring the toolkits in because uh, this is what you were talking about flat nose and chain nose, and this is what we've been using. So these are my. Um, well, they're what we call a starter toolkit, basically. And, you know, what we were talking yesterday with Laura. She has several. Of, I dare say you have several kits and, well, you know, you need on two, the go. You need two of these um, for jump rings. Yeah. So you, you need toolkits for that. And yeah, also you hold them on and closing you know, with the other hand, aren't you? have you? them and everywhere around. I have them in the handbag or my toolkit. I have them for teaching, you see, again, yes, you course, know, teaching yeah. as well. So um, I have lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> lots of them. <laughs> so it's a great starter as well because it's got everything you need. This is the smaller toolkit offer and um, what we're doing are we offering two darling in this is that what it says double yeah two two kits you're getting both that's why i've got two next to me um apparently i mean this might get rachel cross and a bit hot under the collar with what we're going to do but you've got your round nose your flat nose your chain nose you've got your your tweezers your reamer your scooper your uh cutters there well, when i say cutters for softer material like your satin thread and cord um, so you've, you've got pretty much everything you need to get started and we're going to give you two because it's nice to have one on the move, uh, one to leave at your workstation, one for your handbag, one for your daughter, one for your son, one as a gift, you know, you might think, well actually I need another one but I know my sister could do with another one as well. So when we're bundling two together like this, we're offering, you know, savings because individually on our own website the 995 but today for you YEGC02, think about birthdays. I know, for two pounds you get another one, absolutely. For two pounds, that's like 70, well, 80% off, isn't it? Because you're getting one for two quid instead of 9.95. So to me, that's 80% off. Some, some individual tools are 11.95, aren't they? Um, yes. You know, some individual yes, tools. Yes. I'm not saying these ones, of but. Pliers. I mean, I, um, I've had bought um, flash cutters in the past for sort of like 32 pounds, to be honest. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So um, you get through, how many toolkits for that? <laughs> two, two toolkits. You know. So one for 9.95, one for two quid. You know, it's incredible. Yes, how, for how, that, you know, you I, need I could get three, uh, six toolkits of your, and I could teach a whole class. Sissy, sending your DVD to Texas, you can send a toolkit as well, so they really can mm. get going. 
they haven't already they probably already yes. keen to remake if they're Hopefully. on edition yes. two <laughs> but sissy you seem to be a great ambassador for the channel could you just you know get mm. somebody else uh, in on the act with a new mm. toolkit as well so 11.95 right let's attach some beads let's attach some lapis and some uh, coated hematite yes um now i'm using the 0.6 wire for the attachment right. and i'm going to use that little um here you can see a completed piece a little kink in the tail to actually um, attach the beads to um so passing it uh, probably using about 80 centimeters of 0.6 wire um, and I'm just going to wrap a couple of times around the base of the tail once and this is I might slip around a little bit the hands are hot and then back up again through the frame and again pulling quite tight again if you feel um, your hands are slipping you can use your pliers to help rock that in squeeze the wires together so they lock into place and become really firm. I've turned the piece over and I'm going to cut and show you that neat tucking in process and cutting sort of uh, leaving about two or three millimeters from the frame so that you you don't have the cut at the top of the frame you have it enough so that you can actually cut the cut tuck the cut wire in, in. Ah. and so and too long it will show from the front of the frame so you yes. just need a short length squeeze and tuck in Run your hands over. That's not. Beautiful. That's, not, that's a good finished piece. Now this is on the the wrong side, so I'm going to bring this through and just start to thread the. So you're on the front of the on of, the front. Of yes. The piece. Yes. Because yes. so we've got these at the front. Yes. Right. Now, oh, the gosh, these beads were lovely. And then I've basically <laughs> put them on. I've probably got more in case I knew I'd throw one on the floor when I was in the studio. So I've always put an extra one in. Um, so three lapis will fit, again, um, make your body shape, get your beads out, lay them on the body shape, see, want, see what will fit. And then I thought, well, good intersection piece. Oh, I do need a, a little bit of the, I need a... Um, what do you need, darling? A, I need a faceted one. Bear with me. Oh, faceted lapis. No, faceted lapis. Sorry, bear with it. Forgive me, everybody. That's all right. I was going to say, otherwise, you know, one of my... Oh, she's still... No. I, you know, I thought I was really well prepared and I was, had a dizzy moment and put four lapis lengthways one in, no faceted ones. <laughs> so, faceted one goes in there. Um, next. And then we've got, I don't know whether you've got it in the, in any of the bundles. This yeah. is one of these lovely um, uh, rose gold rose gold coated um, beads. Well, I've got a matrix coming up which is so it might be yellow, yes. yellow gold, but I did but have something like in. that yesterday. So there. I don't have to use anything really, just a decorative. Yes. Um, you could use a bit of gizmo coil or something yeah, like that in between or yeah. another bead. Just a decorative bead. And then another um, faceted lapis in there. So I wasn't as well organised as I thought I was. You are marvellously <laughs> organised, my darling. Don't, don't put in. yourself down. So you've got the head and you've got the body. And this will have some play in it, but don't worry, we're going to do some wrapping to actually oh, stop okay. that later. And you should, if you've been good with your beads, have reached the point where you're just at the eyes. So I'm going to pass um, the wire between the two wires and bring it up to one side to actually attach an eye. and wrap once round between the two eyes section because this is really going to bring the whole lot together and once back round to the, um, w the, the eye that you're going to work on so I've now attached and wrapped round both between both eyes next thing I'm going to do is use one of those wonderful faceted coated um, hematites to add a little eye on um, because they, these are, this is a slightly bigger dragonfly, so it's a six millimetre bead, it um, is in proportion. And then you can use, you see these little circles that we created with the, um, the, the loop are great as a base to attach these eyes onto. So I'm going to wrap once round the side frame. And you can either pass back through the bead if the bead hole is big enough, but this one isn't, so I'm going to pass along to the centre and then wrap once around the centre again. Try and make this as neat as possible because this is, is on show. So I'm going to try and make sure that's parallel. Pushing the wire up as much as I can, pulling tight as I can, bringing the wire up into the other loop 
and we're going to add the other eye. So I'm just going to thread that on and try and show you again how we touch on the other side a little more clearly. So I pressed with my thumb and finger the bead into place and bringing the wire around the frame, inserting it into a gap. You might need to just, um, yep, yeah, that's it. Inserting into a gap, pull as tight as you can at this stage. Wrap the back wire back round and here we can sort of tuck this wire away now um, towards the centre of the, the frame at the back. Now what you can do is wrap it around the top of the head, in between the eyes and the top of the head a couple of times because then we're going to add a little tongue if we can, we can find a little space, we'll see if we can. A couple of times around the top, this is an optional feature, and then I'm going to, if I can find a little wee space, thread the wire through from the back of the head, Let's see if I can do it, yes, there's a little space, passing that wire through. If you can't find a space, make one with the ends of tips of your pliers. And then we're going to, don't worry if this starts bearing up a little bit because we're going to um, um, Touch. wrap, uh, yes, um, so bind these to the frame later on. Right, I'm and just going to bring in my mixed metal, if that's okay, all right, that's just for fine. a second, sweetie. Just because we've had a few texts saying, well, we love our, well, actually, because we're also so low and stuck on the other um, wire. So I'm, I'm just going to bring in a wire bundle. Um, this is uh, the, my, it's, it's these ones, darling, isn't it? Uh, what I've got, I'm going to use 10 metres of the point 0.6, 10 metres in the silver, so it's uh, different colours and different gauges, 10 metres of the point 0.8, um, 10 metres of the 1 millimetre in the silver, 10 metres of the 1 millimetre in the copper, and then 10 metres of the 1.25 in the gold. So you're going from 0.6, 0.8, one millimeter in the silver and the rose gold color, copper, color, copper colored, and then 1.25 in the gold. So this is great if you want to start your wire work because, or if you're just thinking, right, I'm keen to do this project, but I don't want a big outlay. So we're going to give you five spools ranging from 0.6 all the way up to 1.25 there, all the mixed metals, all for traveling. Yeah, you know, sometimes the big spools can be quite bulky, um, but you've got a great range of gauges there to, to, to do a, a project. So let's launch that, and then we awesome. can carry on with our our dragonfly. Not twenty. Mm. Our butterfly. Sorry, it's dragonfly. Uh, it's a dragonfly. Dragonfly. I do, but you pardon. can make it into a butterfly. You could, couldn't you? <laughs> yes, of course. Easily. The size of the wings are slim. It. Let's bring in the price. Mm. Sixteen and ninety-five mm. uh, instead of twenty. Was it twenty-seven ninety-five? Um, yeah, that's a massive saving. Mm. Five spools. Five spools. Sixteen mm. at ninety-five. Ten meters of each, and that ranges from 0.6, 0.8, one millimetre to the same, and then 1.25. I know, you, you, I dare it say it. Uh, my producer Philip says we may have to reel in the deals. <laughs> I know. Let's 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 attach some gemstones. Right now, we've I've just cut that wire that I threaded through, and we're just going to make a little tongue, a little spiral tongue. So, and then um, which I'll do query quickly. Now, butterfly tongues are well; they are in nature little spirals, so it's perfect. So, in fact, actually, it's a dragonfly, but we'll have to assume I'm actually sort of now crossing species because dragonflies don't have tongues, all right? They have okay. mouth parts, but um, I'm going to kind of make a butterfly dragonfly. <laughs> Add a little spiral in the it's top. More. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I've crossbred him a little bit. So, um, don't worry about that having play in it because we're going to bind that in. What we're going to do now is make spirals. Don't worry about that having play in it because we're going to bind that in. But what we're now going to do is make some spirals at the top so we can attach our um, necklace pieces later on. Can we just have the image, darling, from the vertical? Thank yeah, you. That's it. Okay, so we're going to do our spiral. So we're going to do the spirals at the top. And Lovely. you notice we start off with a smaller spiral and then we enlarge it a little bit. So I'll try and teach you that technique a little bit. Nice. So putting this one down, I've and cut these so they're uniform length so we have a good chance that spirals will be nice and even. Um, I've also flush cut. You need to flush cut the ends. And if you like, if you like hammering and all these and rounding techniques, you can always make a little hammered end to your wire as well if you like. 
So about um, halfway along your round nose pliers, just start to make a little curl. And don't quite finish it off. And then what we're going to do is make this a little bit smaller. And this, I'm just trapping with my round nose pliers, and I'm just going to make a larger one. It just takes a little bit of jagging because I'm pushing with my finger. You can see a little mark. I'm mm -hmm. actually using some force. And then I'm just going to wrap with, actually with my hands down. And just adds that little bit of, um, I don't know, difference to the spiral. You're, you're creating a different shape yeah. in that. And that'll be a useful point to catch. If you actually want to um, close that up so there's no join, you can catch a piece um, in there. Um, a, a uh, connection piece and so that it won't come out and you'll keep it in place. It won't sort of run around the spiral and come out. You can actually bring that up. But you've still got quite a large spiral formation, yeah, the piece. Lovely. This piece you can hammer if you like as well. So oh, if you've okay. got a hammer and block, yeah. um, I can show you a quick hammering if you want me to. Mm -hmm. Let's bring in, we'll bring in a hammer and block on the screen while Brilliant. you're doing that because do I've only got the three left of that last bundle I just oh, showed. You do that, um, I'll get ready. We'll get a hammer and block on the screen as well. While, while you're actually demonstrating. Yes. Um, we'll bring it up on the screen now. VIGC 17, this is our stainless steel um, hammer and obviously our metal block hammer as well. Oh, plus we've mm. got the wire coiling gizmo. So this is a cracking little bundle. Um, so why have you decided to hammer that particular part, can I ask? Um, you Suji? don't have to so much with it being 0.5, mm. but this is going to be um, a, a structural piece where you're actually going to add a connector to. So the oh. last thing you want is it pulling out, especially oh, if you're yes. using, because um, you, know, you haven't got a wrap loop in here. So I want this to be as strong as possible. Gotcha. So hammering it will actually work hard on it and make this fixed in place. It won't pull out when, you've, it, yes, when you've got a four year old. Yeah. You might grab it. <laughs> you know, we want it to stay. It's four year old testing. Now, basically. 1985 is what you should be paying, but we're not going to. Let's give you a cracking Rachel Norris offer today <laughs> on our Wire Work. Wire Work. Wire Work. <laughs> work. I can't even speak. Inspired show. Coiling gizmo, hammer, and the stainless steel block. 12.95. We're feeling so inspired. The chasing hammer, our steel block, and our wire coiling gizmo. Fantastic. Right, onwards with our, okay. our dragonfly. Well, I'm going to put this one to one side. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, no, I'll do some wrapping in a minute. Um, and we're just going to hammer this dragonfly, for example. So I'm placing it on the wire block. You do not want to cross wire any crossed wires. No. To hammer any crossed no. wires. Because it would be disastrous. Um, that you'll break them. So um, this is a beautiful flat surface. You've got to have a steel block to hammer against. Yeah. This is beautifully made. I mean, for the, for the postage, to get this through the post to I you, know, the weight of it is a fair old bit of uh, weight, isn't it? Yeah. And the hammer is really nicely balanced. It's yes. a lovely hammer to work with. Nice so and they're light, both isn't it? really indispensable tools, yeah. um, as well as the gizmo, of course. Um, and then start to hammer. Just, few, just a few taps on either side. We'll do it. And it's made a beautiful flat surface. And you can carry on and flatten this out a bit more, but um, basically this is now really well work hardened. It's yes. you know, I'd really have to I have to really pull it to actually get it out of shape. Yes. Really, compared to this that hasn't been that can just, okay, yeah, just the same force I've used yeah. and that's moving and that isn't. So I'm just gonna put this to one side and we're going to add some detail to the body, the actual wrapping. Now, I'll, it doesn't matter when you add this detail. You can add it right at the end or now. It really doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to leave it off the next stages because it makes it easier for you to see what, doing. what I'm doing. Right. But we'll put this wrap on this one and we'll show you what, what we're doing. So I'm wrapping down the body um, to add some crisscross detail and also help bind these beads into place and stop them um, moving about. Okay. OK. We're using, again, 0.6 wire for this which I need to find, there we go. And then, <laughs> uh, quite a long length. Again, I'm always using quite a long length. I mean, I'm going for 80 centimetres. Let's go for that um, or so. I always use a bit more than I need, and that doesn't matter. So, starting in the middle of the wire, I'm passing the wire in between the um, abdomen bead, uh, sorry, the thorax bead, and the top of the tail, 
halfway round. I suppose just one or two wraps around this one and round the cross little cross point as well. So it could be the first part of the attachment. You see the body's already starting to bind back at, uh, better into place. I am worried that I might not have used much enough wire. So if, if we start running out, we definitely needed more wire than I told you. Okay, so we'll just see how we go. So a couple of wraps around here, and then we're going to start with both wires up either side of the little uh, abdomen section, and we're going to make some crisscrosses down the body. And I use this technique in uh, edition one with the dragonfly. So crisscross once, hold your, hold your thumb over the wire to keep it in place, and a couple of wraps around uh, the intersection between two gemstones, crisscross, hold the thumb over the bead, a couple of wraps around the intersection, I once, I only want once really, and then down to the tail end and pass the wire around the tail a couple of times and then we'll trim it and do some uh, little spirals. Make sure those wires are closely, nice and close together and I'll trim that to about um, four centimetres. Again we're going to do the other half of the wrap, crisscross across the bead, hold with thumb and forefinger. I'm just going to pass once round there because we've got enough wraps between the beads otherwise if you wrap too much you're going to break the, the supporting wire. There'll be so, quite a lot of tension you're putting in yeah. between the beads. You can um, you can break the whole thing if, you, right. if you've got a, yeah. too much tension there. Thumb and forefinger holding that wire in place once around, wrap down, thumb and forefinger pressing that wire in close, put the wire in to the side of the tail once and twice and upwards and then trim to the same length because when we spiral down, I'll just show you, trim to the same length and then we're going to put a little spiral detail to the side of the tail. It's okay. Gosh. If we don't, if we, if we, if we well, um, we'll don't get right. time, then we, we can we can always talk sort of the next bits because they're just binding on. Right. They're okay. just binding on exactly the same thing, way. Anything that we can always talk about it in the next section, well, my darling. The next darling, bits so are actually not too bad. Okay. Uh, as long as we, I'd like to talk about the connector. Yeah. Um, at some point, because that's actually quite a nice little sort of um, thing okay. to go. Quickly spiraling this down. And rubbish spiral. Sorry. <laughs> pressure spiral, we call it, and then press that in either side of the tail to add detail. Again, do Beautiful. it a bit better than I have done. Okay. All right. And I would have brought that down. Basically, you've got this piece like that. Lovely. That was okay. just a little bit there that you just did the just detail down, there. Yes, detail. You can just press the spiral in. I actually put it downwards, actually, yeah. so rather well, than against the nice side. To be honest. Yeah. Next thing we're going to do is make the outer frame. And the yes, outer frame is just spirals added yeah, in. So I don't I need to necessarily tell you how to make it. I think the best thing to do is print off the picture mm. and make the spirals. So I'm going to lay this flat and show you exactly where the spirals lie. Right there because uh, I think we're running out of time. I'll show you that connector as well. So if we have a look from overhead, Brucey, darling. Because I've made three, you, three spirals. One to fit either side of the, the wing, mm -hmm. and one to fit at the base underneath. And these all act to support, because this has a few anchor points along. If we've mm -hmm. got this, Sorry, this here, um, you can see the anchor points. If we, we zoom in on here. New point. Uh, the anchor points for this one, you basically use one long wire and wrap to either side. Here, wrap along, wrap once around the frame and both wires, wrap along, bind those two together, all the way up here, bind that together, and then finally bind this bit together. And you do the same for both sides. This bit will flap around if it's not given this extra support. So I've made a third spiral section, bound it at the base of the tail, so I'm going to turn it over yeah. so you can see what I've done, bound it at the base of the tail either side, and bound upwards either side, and again bound there, and at that point either side to hold this frame really strong in, frame, in place, because all those little binding points will stop those 
sort of wires because we're binding yeah. separate wires together yes. and it's a quite useful technique to, to learn. Yes. And I made this frame all from one piece of wire and I usually like to make things all from one piece of wire because it adds Did strength to the whole piece but if you add on other pieces you've got to be mindful of their strength and structure and how you bind them together so they stay together. Did you just use different lengths? Did you leave it on the reel just out of interest? I mean one continuous length was it um, all? When you no, when I made this, all? when I made this, remember it was all from one piece of wire. Yeah. And then, but for the binding, you know how oh you've no, done this lovely coiling. No, I took them off. Yes, because oh, you, you just, yes, you know, yeah, because you've got to just long take the wire off. Now, because we've jumped a few stages, um, I think we've jumped a few stages, haven't we? Yes. Um, shall we go straight to the connector? Yes. Um, and anything we don't fit day. in, we, I, I yes. can reference in the next. I mean, section. just to show you again, that was how I bound the um, those side points in place. I bound that, and across the base. And upwards. I haven't wrapped that tail just to show you because I wanted to you show said this one. It's easier without. Yeah. yeah, just just there, and then bound it in exactly the same way as we've talked you through. Remember how we bound this frame and the wings? You're doing yes. nothing different except adding these side pieces in. Yes. Just make sure when you do your side pieces that you cut them to the same length and make them to the same shape so they look symmetrical. So that's right. the bit that you've got to work really hard on to make them symmetrical. Yes. What would you say is the tip there in terms of? Because it would be hard to do them at the same time. Just make one it? and make the other exactly the same way. As so look, I've, I've, I mean that's not quite symmetrical, so don't, um, there. Look, they're more or less the same. Mm. And this, I basically laid one on top of the other. So you make one first, yeah. and then lay the other one on top, and make sure it is as similar as possible when you make them. And the middle one, well of course you're just making the same shape as you did for the base of the wing. Mm -hmm. So the, the shapes are mirrored through the piece, you're yes, making very one, similar two, shapes. Three. So the printout actually will be fabulous. If you can get that printout of the, um, of the pictures from the website, okay. then you know. Now if I can just go on quickly to make that connector up for you and then we're done. You see, is that okay? Well we've got about a minute on this section so we may have to just go to the break and then Come back to it, my darling. So I don't, I don't want to rush no, too much because it's fine. such an exquisite design. So what we might have to do is just touch on where we're at right now, and then we'll we'll go to a quick moment because we've only got about a, a little bit of time. And, and what we'll, we'll do is we'll come back to this. I think um, for, this, for this next for you when you need yeah. it. I think we'll do that. So what we're mm. going to show you in the next moment, if we just have a quick look, you're going to show us how, how to, to do one of these. One of these, which are the side parts. It's almost like the beady bead bit you said. Mm. And that's you're going it. to show us how to do that. And, and um, that is the connector. That is the, the connector. connector. So that's um, the BDB fundamental bit, and then the actual connector. And then yes, and that. And if there's anything the else connector. we need to talk through, we can. We'll do that for you. Yeah. So don't go anywhere. We'll, we'll spend time to do that because uh, that's that's important. So we'll be right back after this, so we can complete our dragonfly design. Don't go anywhere. We'll be doing this in a moment. Thank you. Join jewellery maker and specialist guest designer Louise Jacobson for our basic wirework course. This class is suitable for complete beginners who wish to learn simple wire wrapping techniques to create stunning structural designs. Louise will teach you all the essential skills to get started, including basic spirals, double connectors and much, much more. The full course includes a range of different wire gauges, a bead scoop, use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet the presenters, and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just $69.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you.
Right, we're going to concentrate now on essentially what is the necklace connectors uh, to our dragonfly. Yes. So over to Rachel. Now, um, I thought of it, I thought, do I bind, it, it, we're using a thick gauge wire for these connectors, using the 1.5, do I bind stuff on, which I've done in the previous DI show, I, I showed how to bind the stones on. I thought, no, I'm going to do something different, and we're going to make a BDB that wraps around it, and we can use it to, to um, well, when you haven't got the gemstone hole big enough, you can actually just make a beady bead and, and put and it around. Chain link, yeah. Yes. Now, um, everyone knows how to make a beady bead, don't they? But w what I've done is doing that very basic beady bead, starting off with um, a lapis lazuli, two hematite, um, pulling close together, two hematites, another lapis lazuli with, the, with wires passed through. Remember how we do the beady bead? I'm making this with wire, so I'm making it with 0.4 wire. There we go. That's the next bit. It's on our it's on our website, yes. it's on our YouTube, next it's bit. on one of our D DVDs. Yes. If you're not aware, where? And then yes, exactly. So I'm not doing anything amazingly new with this bit, but it's just showing that you're making you make it with wire rather than uh, the beading thread. But if you're happy using it with beading thread, please do. It just matches in with the tone of the piece, so you've got just copper um, wire coming through. So there, I've, I've got my four. Um, it's a right angle weave, a uh, ladder weave, or right angle weave that we use. Right, oh sorry. And then, um, <laughs> T, T. And then, um, yeah, <laughs> I thought, what, I thought no, what, was that? what was that? Was that for me? <laughs> I'm not meant to see that. Um, and then both ends of the wire pass through this last bead um, and that's you'll that's form your beady around, bead. And it? these yeah. have a big enough beading hole to get 3.4 millimeter wow, wires through. Brilliant. Some of them don't, but most of them do. Yeah. Put it up together. And then yeah. what you do is, instead of tying a knot, you just literally wrap, ah. holding it tight, wrap it round okay. and tuck in the ends. So I will just do that very quickly, not sort of perfectly, but just make sure the ends are tucked in. Lovely. Um, and again, around, around the other side, because I don't want it falling apart when I'm using Because you, again, put a little bit of tension on it when we're putting it into the S shape of the, the wire. So, next thing you do is, this hasn't got a core bead to it, so it's got a hole in it. Mm. So we need to give some structure and support to that bead, or it's going to collapse or slip around all over the place. Mm -hmm. So, I've got a short section of one millimetre um, wire made into a gizmo coil on the small mandrel mm -hmm. and a short section which I cut now and it doesn't matter I've just put it 0.6 millimeter wire I've just used that as an extra support um, going on now that will fit inside the um, the right angle weave that you make with the longer beads okay so I've got that fitted onto the onto the wire that fits onto the wire and they actually fit in as a core to this or we'll keep oh, this really really oh, stop clever. this speed collapsing yes clever. I think with this one all I used was because it's a smaller hole all I used was the the little um, the one millimeter. one millimeter wire so I'm just going to take that out because I've now got it trapped in there now to make the piece up I've got a section and I've cut them all to the same length so that all the spirals are going to be exactly the same. So okay. you cut all your wires. I've used one, two, three connectors on either side plus the clasp because I've added the beads onto the clasp. So make sure they're all the same length. They're probably about 10 centimetres, maybe 12 centimetres long. Right. Okay. And I put my beady bead on, on with that little section of core wire. And then I'm just going to make the spiral. Again, exactly the same as we made all those other spirals. And we're going to make an S-shaped spiral. So one curl will go one way and one curl will go the other way. Cut off the ends. And I'm using the pliers about sort of almost at their base to start off that curl. Um, and flatten those pliers because this is a little bit tougher. Yeah, sorry. Flatten those pliers. And you can hold the pliers and just use your fingers to bend the wire around. Now we'll start off before we go too far because I want to make them look fairly even. Starting at the base to make that first initial spiral because we want to fit a, a large jump ring across it. I didn't cut it, there we go. And that, now I need just to use my finger pressure just to make that spiral. It helps stop you marking the wire as well. Yeah, okay. Definitely. 
So we've got, we'll just make sure those are fairly even. Now as we spiral, we'll notice this starts to lock up tight mm, against the bead. Yeah. And eventually the bead won't actually no, move I love or the rotate. No, the coil in the middle, that's great. And at this stage, you can just hammer with the hammer and block mm -hmm. that S-shaped spiral so that it doesn't pull. I mean, it's pretty, you can see my, the action of the spiral, it's pretty yeah. strong. But because they use connectors. To, you can just, just hammer them. them. Both sides. And all I've done, don't hammer the beads like I'm doing, is make some large jump rings on either, an, um, if you've got one of these jump ring makers, JM sell them um, occasionally and they're brilliant. So next time they come on, grab them, make sure you get these. That I use them all the time. Uh, or you can get the large gizmo mandrel and make some jump rings on that, on the deluxe gizmo. Um, mandrel. You can make some jump rings or with the largest mandrel or a knitting needle if you've got one that's about eight or nine millimeters. Make a large jump ring and then connect your pieces together. And you've got so we've actually made four you know. of those. I'm just going to show everybody yeah. on your piece. So we've made four of those. Uh, one, two, three, four and then this is what Rachel's referring to. Two jump rings there to connect the two spirals. Um, I'm going to. Yes, I have done the, cl yes, have done the right, clasp. But if, if um, everyone knows how to make clasps, so basically all I've done in the same way is just option. added a hook and a loop uh, so instead one, of a spiral. Yeah, so the, the last, the fourth one is the coil one side, and then you've done a lovely hook and hoop. Loop. Lovely. Thank you, darling. Yeah. But we will get those uploaded on the Facebook and uh, on, on the website. And mm. so if you've got any questions, let us know. I'll dash over here because I know you've got to get ready for the next section. Uh, lots Wonderful. more still to bring you. Thank you, Rachel. Um, Let's uh, bring you some more goodies. This is the lovely sapphire strand as well. Don't forget, 11 carats of absolutely priced, sorry, 18 carats. Oh, beautiful, uh, a beautiful blue. I mean, the sapphire blue. I mean, that's, that's where the name comes from. Sapphirus, meaning blue sapphire there. So that's a, a really high end strand. Uh, what are we going to start with, Philip? What do you want me to start with, darling? Yep. Yep. Let's do these gorgeous blue cultured pearls, which would go uh, stunningly with the actual strands that Rachel's picked for her her challenge, should we say, the London blue uh, coated quartz, um, the the blue coated pyrite, I believe, she, and, and then there was that pretty pretty crackle lag eight drops with the metallic finish. This is my blue cultured potato pearls. Now, it's calling it blackish. I think that's more to do with the London blue kind of color. You know, that steely gray, that steely blue. And these are big potato pearls, nine by eight millimeters. Let's give you a fantastic deal on this. I'm just thinking of that lovely Native American eagle. 4.95 for real pearls. Oh my, well, the voice has gone up again. You know the Native American eagle, if you've got the DVD, Rachel used a beautiful pearl in the center. I'm thinking the dragonflies as well that we've been looking at with the lapis and the uh, copper colored coated hematite. 4.95, these are genuine pearls, can I hasten to add? Genuine cultured pearls just with the metallic coating there. F-E-G, so fee, uh, G-P-35. That's gonna be a sellout success, well done to you. Next one. Oh, I'm so sorry, that just cut out on me just as you were telling me. Yes, darling? Okay. I think it's because I leaned back and I lost, I lost transmission. That's the other thing I'm doing. I'm sitting on my microphone, so it's slowly slipping down the, the frock. Right, here we go. Um, wow, when you actually look at these firsthand, you almost think tanzanite. It's quite deceiving. It, it, it's not tanzanite, and that's not a criticism, but it's, my, it's more of a purplish blue. Can you see why I said that? Yeah, but these are quartz graduated faceted saucers. So look at those. I know. Uh, beautiful faceted. What they've done on the saucer, they've faceted the, the girdle here above and below. So that's why you get that saucer look. And what it's created is a really deep girdle uh, below and above um, where I suppose you'd start the pavilion. But then there is a flattened surface, the largest top table. So it gives this wonderful luster on the outside. And when you start to connect them together like that, they have a very pretty violet hue. Can you see why I sort of said it was like the Tanzanite colour? 95 carats, JBRU 42. Stunning. And I'm just thinking of the pics as well. I'm thinking of those pearls. 
Uh, this is my Gems of Distinction strand, so high on the quality, a lot of time taken to the hand faceting on the gemstones themselves. What it gives you is that really deluxe finish, uh, an unusual cut that we've just experienced together. You can see the quality of the gemstone, you can see the clarity because that kind of faceting would only work on something as 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 gorgeous and you know as as incredible in quality and clarity as this breathtaking colored quoted quartz there so jbr u42 breathtaking for our gems of distinction a mid 12 95 i know we're thinking of the coast we're thinking of the sea there's mediterranean skies uh we're whisking you away to a warmer climb shall i say Ah, where should we go? The Amalfi Coast? Where do you want to go? The Caribbean? Uh, Monte Carlo? He's not bothered. Anywhere sunny, he says. Bogner Regis? Where do you want to go? It's not quite warm enough yet, is it? For a bit of Bogner. 12.95. Beautiful gems of distinction. A distinctive cut. They are absolutely flawless and eye clean. It's going to be another sellout. Let's do box uh, number 11. These are so pretty. I've sort of got sort of white and flowers and I'd put gold and black with these with the, with the frock I'm wearing today yeah sort of create the sort of the flower theme there's a lot of the flowers isn't there I, I noticed the the butterflies the birds are back again in the blouses there's a very sort of resurgence of would it, would it be 50s or 60s you know when you've got the little short midriff jumpers and is it 50s and the little um, sort of what do you call those yes. capri pants? My daughter can and, wear them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can't. I know. We'd like to think we can. <laughs> We're sort of past all that now. Uh, you're not. We can wear whatever we want, Rachel. Who's to dictate to us what we wear because of our age? I'm not having any of that. I was wittering on. I was going to a well-known shop that they they associate with the young ones, the youth. And this girl was saying, mm. "What are you going there?" She says, "I wouldn't think of going there." She was younger than me. I says, "Oh yeah." She says, "Well, what do you go and you pretend you're buying for your daughter?" I says, "You must be joking. I'm buying for myself. Isn't it? lovely jumpers oh. and who's to say we have to shop?" <laughs> yeah, you are. You are right. Yes. Yeah, we wear whatever we feel like we want to wear, as long as there is a modicum of decency. <laughs> Let's bring you 490 carats of white quartz, puffy drops. They overlay beautifully and all, all of this gorgeousness for a mere £6.45. I love the way they overlap. You could just put a little pop of the black gem in between. I could, I could see inspired desires for you in this one, uh, Rachel. What would you do um, with a strand like this? Oh, uh, I would make it to summer flower necklace. Um, oh. You can make them into butterfly wings yeah. and... Oh, uh, tear, just a teardrop on its own, wrapped um, in various things, or like ring or something. Rings, yeah. Yes. Funny you should say yeah. about the flowers. There's, there was lots of little. I was having a mooch. Mm. Uh, Gave mm. my sister some slippers for her birthday. I know, rock and roll, eh? Mm. Uh, but there was these lovely, lovely daisy design tops and daisies yes. on jumpers and daisies. Mm. That, that was a big feature as well. I noticed. So yeah. this would make a gorgeous <laughs> daisy. Gorgeous. It would. A few petals. Mm. Six pounds forty-five. Should we bring you some more? Let's do some more. I will, I already love it. I'm thinking in the middle of those lovely, lovely white quartz like drops. Let me just show you why. It's so, 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 so pretty and so subtle, so gentle. And again, very pretty with some of the gemstone strands Rachel's already chosen today. Yeah, beautiful. So just those popped in between. Really pretty, really fresh. Yes, so and then the cut is gorgeous. These are my bicones as well. Funny enough, we had no bicones yesterday. Can you believe it? Not one. So different, the different cuts you see in certain days, you don't always see them. And I know it's a favorite of our lovely Linda. 60 carats of aquamarine. Now you need to get this now, because this is for your March babies like me. I know we're in February, but you need to make it obviously. You know, you need to be made for me in time with the birthday on the 5th of March. You know, you've got to get making it now. Or, you know, for Philip, we haven't got any emeralds today for May, I'm afraid, but we have got the aquamarine for the March babies, yeah. We've got the sapphire coming up. You know, I wouldn't mind a bit of sapphire thrown in there as well, if you're feeling, you know, like I'm worth it. Uh, so cheeky. Make it yourself, Fiona. You're absolutely right. The sapphires and the aquamarine, I know. Just a little pop of sapphire in between each aquamarine. How beautiful would that bracelet be? Oh, that's coming up later, 18 carats. But in the meantime, genuine aquamarine is that really pretty 
a powder blue, you know, almost like almost like the duck egg blue. And in the bicone cut, yeah, oh, just those lovely pearls you got for four ninety five in between. Oh, pretty. Sixty carats of genuine aquamarine. Thinking about that and your peacock. In the bottom of your peacock there. Eleven ninety five for your genuine aquamarine. So your high-end gemstones in terms of the eye there or in the bottom of the tail feather. Rachel's used blue and purple and the green there. Be very pretty. There's no reason why we can't use the bicones, is there? Amazonite, is it? It's, oh. it's actually aquamarine, but oh, very similar sort of colours. Which yeah. you could combine them with um, the silver per pearls and oh, yeah. oh, white quartz. I mean, oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful gemstone. It's funny you should say Amazonite. Mm -mm. Look at this. That's exactly what you mm. ask and you shall receive. Look at the Amazonite I've got coming up, baby. Can we do some Amazonite, Philip? Mm. Let's do the Amazonite next because they are heaven. That with the white that you just had. I mean, just look at those. Fresh, <sighs> fresh daisy fresh that would be so pretty i could already see us make the designs so you've had the quartzite you've had that lovely genuine aquamarine for a mere 11.95 let's bring you the amazonite very pretty did you get those teal green um were they agates yesterday oh, i forget now that the match laura's dress anyway very pretty with some kishi pearls or some genuine pearls I mean you can make some really pretty sort of, oh look at that that's, that's a mermaid that is a mermaid pure and simple how pretty is that those pearls oh, gorgeous jewelry to be made there I'll bring you those pearls in a moment but these are my faceted Amazonite uh, puffy coins EEGP40 190 carats of gorgeousness Perfect with the aquamarine, beautiful with the quartzite, pretty with the blue pearls, all under the sea, you see. It's all my colours, I love these. EEGP40 for 190 carats of Amazonite. You know, great as well with Larimar, all those lovely blues. Let's bring you that price, 9 at 95 You're just adding to the order, you're rolling over the one postage packaging price. You can still ask for the Rachel Norris DVD. You know, you can still get that in your order. This was edition two. We launched it at the start of the show. I said I'd remind everybody as well. 1995 three disc special to show you how to make that uh, peacock, the leaf bracelet, the uh, butterfly necklace, and all the separate components can be used in other designs as well. And it will smooth you smoothly into the transition of DVD number three, which will launch in, uh, well, late spring, hopefully, when we can make all sorts of sea creatures like fish and um, turtles. Uh, should we do some more, darling? Should we do those pearls? When are they happening? Darling, now, are they? I mustn't, I mustn't lean back, because every time I do, I lose you. I ask you a question, lean back, and then can't hear anything. Uh, let's do the pearls. These are gorgeous, both strands. And you know what? We don't often get the smaller pearls. So we often go for the larger ones because we understand the wealth of the value, but the, pr the little ones can be so, so pretty and eye-catching. Trust me, for my pearl deal, you need to be on the phone now. And Rachel's handed me a beautiful pearl and silver wire ring. I could see this design being emulated in the pearls we've got here for you now. How gorgeous is that? Do we need to come on a workshop to do this ring, my darling? Uh, it's on the Little Ring Masterclass um, on YouTube. It's a uh -huh. Rachel Norris Little Ring Masterclass. It's had about 12,000 views, oh. which I, I'm constantly amazed at. I'll be on 12,001 because <laughs> I'll be looking at this later. So you can learn how to make that a similar ring to that. Obviously, it's there with different gemstones, but you can... Marvellous. When are you doing another workshop? Um, I haven't got a workshop here planned. Oh, but, um, she doesn't love I? us enough, you see. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm hoping to fine. come here again in um, a nice, yeah. lovely show in April. We're we'll planning that go. now. She's too busy making DVDs for you <laughs> and, and trying to make things on the show. Let's bring you a pearl duo. Trust me now, get on the phone's lines right now because it's going to be absolutely fantastic. You can actually make this ring with the wire wrapping there. You can, instead of the little silver beads there, you see, you can use the little white pearls there with the silver pearls being your main feature there. Gorgeous. Little Rachel uh, 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 ring masterclass with Rachel on uh, YouTube there. Uh, so let's bring our pearl duo for a magnificent price because it fits in with our under the sea theme. 
685 these are genuine pearls two strands of pearls and i love the fact that we've got a different size to play with you know this is no criticism because these blue pearls are beautiful but of course you've got two strands there i mean those three together are magic aren't they it's just nicer to have the detail you know the little bird's eyes the little you can have them on the on the stem of the little peacock head there you know there could be anywhere just gorgeous that pearl ring for instance how many of those could you make you get some of these silver wire what gauge wire is that on your ring just out of interest I used, I used sterling silver actually um well one millimeter sterling silver with 0.4 millimeter well it's funny you should say mm. that because i've got a wire bundle uh, that is sterling silver wire uh, and uh, you use one millimeter and what was it rach uh, Point four, actually, point but four. Um, you know you can use point six if you have to. But um, that's I'm going to bring a silver wire bundle, so you can mm. literally get these pearls. Go and watch. Mm. Rachel. Don't watch it during the show, though. Not while we've got the real live Rachel with us here. Do it afterwards, um, after the Late Show, after you've tuned in and got my period over the Late Show. Um, but let's bring you the silver. So this is silver wire that Rachel used. I'm going to give you one and give you the other spool free. Yeah. 925 now gauge wise this feels like i've got point, well i've got exactly what rachel used i'm not going to sell you anything else other than what rachel oh, uses yeah. 0.4 <laughs> and one millimeter perfect you can make a little little ring could, mm. could we make more than one little ring um, or was i used that... about a meter no actually you'll make a meter yeah There's all a meter the point, each all, point, all the 0.4 will go but you can make more uh, you can probably make about four four on one, the one, on the one mil. yeah it so we will use all the 0.4 one meter on one ring yes. but we could use because that's the one we keep for ourselves then the one <laughs> we give to our friend we'll, we'll use the the silver colored or the silver plated 0.4 wire mm. but they'll still have the silver wire in there because we can make mm. four you said <laughs> so uh, that's the one we keep for ourselves the with the real silver but it will have the silver core it, you know you've got to tell them that i love the real silver core but we can make another three rings identical to it so we're going to give you buy one get one free the pearls are at the bottom of 685. 20 pounds 90 is what you should be paying. You remember you got those pearls, the double duo, the 695. This is what Rachel used. This is in the demonstration that you can look and make that ring 0.4, a meter, one millimeter, a meter of each, sterling silver wire, 16.95. Can you imagine buying a pearl silver ring? With all that, could you just show me that ring again, Rachel? Sorry, darling. Yes. It's oh, just yes. so beautiful, my darling. Thank you. I can see it's why you use the whole it's meter. It. It's with needs all the wire wrapping she's done there. You see, that's why it's used all of the 0.4, but for the basis, there was enough for making four rings of the one millimeter. Sterling, mm. can you imagine paying 16.95? All right, let's add the four, 6.95 of the pearls. So seven and 17, 24 pounds, 23 pounds 90 to be exact. Would you pay £23.90 for this ring? A, we've got to a, a factor in the amount of work that it took. But she says mm. it's a short, quick demonstration video. Yeah, it doesn't take that long to make. Once you get quick with them, they oh, actually there don't There we go. Take You'd be like a production line. <laughs> um, so you're spending, for the two of the pearls, your silver wire, £23.90. I think I've added that up. 7 and 17, 24, take off 10 pence. £23.90. So that's your ring. And you can make another three, because you're going to have pearls left over. Shall I, let's bring in some earrings as well. I want some earrings to match because I've got all of these pearls. So I've made my ring and I've got all these pearls. I want earrings to match because I'm an e earring nut. So uh, yeah, brilliant. Loads of you there. Jill's going to do it. Helen, Gladys, Heather, Christina, Lane. Remember that silver wire, pure 925 silver wire. So let's get the earrings to match. We've got these gorgeous pearls and I love these. These are sterling silver. We've got our wire. Maybe we'll get some more. Uh, 0.4 silver coloured wire or silver plated wire see if there's anything left on the website there I can make two pairs of these gorgeous chandelier earring drops or a necklace yeah they, they could be necklace connectors look at those for, uh, for butterfly wings but beautiful so from them we can hang it could be a pendant it's just that it's just that I've got four of them so it could be four pendants we can dingle, we can dangle, we can hang, we can chandelier, we can showcase, we can, we can, we can overlap. Sterling silver nine loop earring chandelier. They can be connectors, they can be pendants, they can be earrings. It's just that I'm always obsessed with the earrings. Uh, y, w, Y, D, L, 19, 
nine loop earring chandeliers for two pairs sterling silver let's give you a ridiculous price we're on a roll we want the earrings to match that beautiful ring with your pearls 6.95 oh you are going to dazzle and delight sterling silver real pearls you've got your silver wire there you've got your real pearls there your real silver earrings there and one postage packaging price can't wait to see this on the wall of fame need to be quick 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 whatever you do don't miss out let's do some more let's do some more i can't stop now uh just just, just do more i'm gonna stick with a the silver theme and bring you some silver balls because rachel used a few in uh, the ring design i mean this could be the feature that you don't have to use the pearls i can see this uh, being in your silver ring as well or in your peacock design or in that butterfly i know we were talking about um rose gold colored spaces you see how you could just use a couple of those in with the pearls there in the ring as well i mean it's up to you what you what you want to use but these would work beautifully as well or in you know the peacock eye or in the butterfly body It'd be beautiful in there wouldn't it and they're a big size yes these are sterling silver so we're staying with our precious metal your diameter in the middle they're six millimeter balls um but my diameter in the middle is oh do you know what it's a good i'd say it's a good three and a half to four millimeters there and they're they're really uh, although they're hollowed out as you can see i've got to say they're really really strong really strong so for their wideness their largeness um they're not going to lose that lovely shape so the six millimeter but my diameter the hole i'm gauging it by my eye of course is a good three to four millimeters um hole in the middle so for your leather cord um your suede cord you could get your ribbon through that as well so it's a pack of 20 and it's 925 sterling silver think about those beautiful pearls as well gorgeous hang those from your chandelier earrings roll those onto your one millimeter wire there that you've got what buy one get one free mm. he's price crashing Filippo's price crashing we're crashing we're crashing 8 95 20 sterling silver balls beautiful you know you've got the precious quality there you know you've got the larger silver spheres there and we've got 20 of them for under nine pounds right i've got to get ready to join and rachel for the second half of the show she's made the most sorry i'm shouting aren't i I've frightened her i've made the most she's made i've made the most, she's made the most amazing beautiful um gold colored wire wrap jewelry so you can see a gold bundle here featuring don't go anywhere don't forget you can ask and get the dvd 1995 still available we'll be joining rachel right up after this there are two easy ways to purchase from jewelry maker you can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the on air now button on the front page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, you simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. If you miss a Jewelry Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewelry Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis, so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. If for any reason you're not satisfied, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker.
When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new jewellery maker hobby. A lot of text about Rachel's DVD, so I'm going to bring you the code. But don't worry if you missed the code. The, we launched it at the start of the show. It's a premiere launch. Uh, the call centre will have it, so it's not all is not lost. We've got less than 100 left of the current stock. This will take you into transition to DVD number three, a later edition to come uh, towards early summer, late spring. But um, basically, we'll take you through the actual peacock, the, the Native American bird, the eagle, as it were, is a bonus, and also this incredible but it was a butterfly necklace where you got the leaves and the butterfly. There were several different takes on this, but it was used in the components. So uh, 1995, it was a premiere launch, absolutely flew out. In fact, let me just, oh, sorry, everybody. Let me just grab that necklace because it's stunning and you can physically see what it is we made. I know that's such a good shot, isn't it? An empty seat. Um, there you go. It's nice to see it in the flesh, isn't it? It's more than nice. It's absolutely spectacular. So this was yeah there you go your butterfly so these will be taken through step by step and you can integrate these components uh, in separate designs so uh, beautiful uh, with the dvd with rachel norris now it was very remiss of me and i apologize uh, immensely rachel when she was making the dragonfly do you remember the bundle with the lapis the color-coded hematite and the faceted lapis um, Rachel mentioned some spaces some rose gold colored and we said oh well we've got all sorts on our website you've got those as well with the three strands um, so I do apologize Rachel used them in the dragonfly towards the top of the body so you've got five of those you'll have seen on the picture I'm so sorry what it, what happened was I went over to Rachel and left them on the desk so uh, if, I, if I don't have them in my hand I don't like to promise something you haven't got but you do get that the rose gold plated sterling silver rope edged barrel spacers you get five of those with your two strands of lapis, the rice beads, the regular faceted beads, and your copper color coated hematite faceted rounds. So I do apologize. It was $24.95 uh, for those three gemstone strands and your rose gold spacers, sterling silver. So apologies, but you got them. So it's a bonus. I think you were happy. They were very limited on stock in terms of that one. Righty ho, let me introduce you to some, some wire that Rachel used, and we'll go and see Rachel. Now, before I put it on, I've only got 42. All my wire bundles, hence my interrupting of Rachel, which I hate to do, but I was aware that what was on the screen was selling out, had just flown out today because she's so inspiring. Is it all three spools, darling? All three. What you've got is 100 meters of the one millimeter. What you've also got is 100 meters of the 0.6. And what you've got is 100 meters of the 0.4 in the gold colored copper wire. I have 42. 300 meters in total the code is at the top of the screen as I said earlier please remember to check out your baskets because everything we've been showing has been selling out fast um, so you know a web bidder a phone buyer that is ready to purchase and pay for it then can actually take what you think is in your basket because you actually haven't paid for it it just shows that you've expressed an interest that's not because we don't love you but obviously it's showing up on our system as stock availability so someone ready to pay gets gets it basically so if you do roll over the one poster packaging price it all adds up at the end so don't think you've been charged individual poster packaging point four the one that i know rachel loves 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 you've got point six and the one millimeter so three absolutely smashing gauges there 42 sets of these first come first served you should be paying 30 sorry 59 80 Five, so close to sixty pounds, fifty nine eighty five. But for you, you gorgeous jewelry makers who are totally in awe, like myself, of our wonderful designs. But the nice thing is, Rachel makes you feel and shows you that you can make it as well. It's accessible. We can do it with the DVD. We can do it. We can contact Rachel. We can make and emulate her designs. Forty nine eighty five. All righty. Which ones, darling? That is under 50 pounds, 10 pounds saving. You've got your 0.4 in there, remember, 0.6 and the one millimeter. 
KLG C28. I've got some gemstones to bring you as well that you'll see integrated in. I've already got my eye on the earrings. I don't know how I'm going to sweet talk her for these. Um, I'm just going to try and distract her at some point. Let's. Uh, <laughs> I'm teasing, darling, I'm teasing. Let's head over and see Rachel so you can see what I'm whispering on about. Uh, I'll bring my wire, I'll bring my, uh, I'll bring the ring, I'll bring Rachel's ring because she was wearing that, bless her, earlier. Let me bring your, your oh, ring back, you. beautiful. You must thank feel you. bereft without it. That's I know yours, it, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I'll put that there. Um, right, these were my wires and we've got my gemstones. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. You have been busy. You're so prolific oh, in what I you just, do. Well, I just um, I enjoy it. So I just enjoy making. So Incredible. I thought I'll have, I'll have a go. And, and I have about a month in between shows, maybe six weeks. So I really have a lot more time. And I just just play with the wire. and. Let's have some texts. Let's see what everybody thinks about your amazing, stunning work. Love your daisy chain, Rachel. Beautiful designs. So lovely to have you back. That's Anne Marie oh, in Cornwall. Anne -Marie, yes. And she makes the most beautiful jewellery. Anne Marie is absolutely an incredibly talented wire working designer. She Never. makes very sort of um, wild, um, <gasps> sort of almost like sort of lots of vine, vines and sort of very organic pieces. Beautiful. Mm. I'll have to have a look. Rachel, your work is amazing. Thank you for sharing your fabulous gift with us. Love to everyone. Uh, and that's uh, she, she sells, she sells on the seashore. Uh, look at these. I know, aren't they stunning? Little leaves. I'll ask, I'll ask Rachel about more of those. Um, and then, I mean, oh, the, the list goes on and on. I mean, look at this. That's look. like an Easter egg ring. ring. I've just, oh, it's like an Easter egg. Um, Easter egg ring. And then look at this. Let me just take this off so you can see the heart. And that's oh. a smaller, but we're going to make the, the heart pendant, but that's just a smaller toned down version so that you can, you just don't have to, it's just basically made in exactly the same way, the smaller. And some, then without some of the base sections. This reminds me of a sort of a Grecian talk. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, love, love, love of this. Now it's an <gasps> adaptation of the um, bracelet I'm making one of the gizmo DVDs ah. but I've made it with a wire twister tool oh okay yeah. and uh, it's I've just I've just had this great fun I thought I'll try <sighs> twisting gizmo coils on the on the twister twister tool and it works and I've made it into the components on the side of the necklace ah <gasps> uh-huh fantastic loads of lovely texts sorry we haven't had time to read them all out we'll make sure rachel is aware of them as well shall i introduce the gemstones that rachel's working with and then we can get on to make this fantastic piece of jewelry uh, the necklace so we we gave rachel obviously all the wire that you've just seen remember there's only 42 bundles of that and she's using her gizmo uh oh, sorry wire was it the what you said the wire Twisting twist tool. tool and the gizmo, oh, and the gizmo. you know, and the gizmo, but the gizmo to make the actual coils, and then yeah. I twisted them using the wire twister tool. There we go. So we twisted our gizmo coils. Now mm. these are my two gemstone strands that Rachel's working with: the purple banded agate rounds that are faceted 12 millimeter, and those exquisite droplets that you saw in the heart shape. Uh, well, both parts of the pendant and the and the bracelet. And they are my amethyst drops, eight, 18 by 10 millimeter, 255 carats. And for both strands, amethyst and faceted banded agate, it was gonna be 1327, but we want you to make these pieces, so we wanna go lower. Um, so we're gonna give you it, uh, uh, lots of savings. So instead of 13 pounds, 70 something, 12.95 it's all savings isn't it it's all savings but there's a squiddly here a squiddly there well exactly 13.27 is a saving by itself but we just don't like that number do we so we're taking it under 13 pounds we don't like this 27p or this 13 number so let's go 12.95 let's see how to make this exquisite design right i'm going to quickly run through making the side components first of all if we can and just because it's a lovely new technique, um, I don't know whether anyone else has thought of it, but it's the first time I've thought of it. Um, so what we're going to do is just, which I've forgotten to make up, is a um, using the gizmo on the large mandrel. I'm just going to make a core of one millimetre wire. Okay, I'll tell you what, while you're doing that, I'll quickly just try this on. I'm dying to put it up against the neckline just to show mm. you the magnificence of the piece. 
<gasps> I made it quite short so that you can wear it on a on a on a you know a small like smaller person can wear it. You know what I mean? Somebody yes. A small frame. Yes. Isn't that magnificent? So we've mm. just got a gizmo. We're making a core coil with our. Is this our one millimeter? Yes, one millimeter core coil. So it's really nice and strong. I'm just going to get that out of the way. Right. So done that. Put that to one side. Don't take the coil off the gizmo rod because we're going to use that. Um, to our work with basically. Okay. Um, now what I have done is I've, I've made a knot um, on one end of a piece of wire and threaded on, uh, sorry two pieces of wire, and threaded on two gizmo coils of exactly the same length and made another knot on the other end and this is what we're going to twist with the wire twister tool. I don't know, right. have, we, have we got it today? Or have we no? got the wire twister tool today darling? I know we've had it in the past. Is it with us today Cassie? Yes I have, yeah. Sure, well, let's get it on. One, Gosh, but you're, you're, you can use you're that more one exactly on it than the I am. same. But I'm going to. Do you mind if I use this one? I don't is, mind. But it works in exactly the same okay. way. That would do exactly the same. So, so we've got our gizmos, and we've used the wire twisting tool to to twist the gizmo strands actually on the actual necklace. So let's get up our wire. Is it part of a bundle, mm. Philip, or is it just on its own, darling? It's on its own, I think. It's on its own. Okay. Because we do two different variants. Uh, but both both do the same job. So uh, let's get our wire twisting tool up there. Yes, we'll, exactly. We'll right. get our purple gems Bear at the bottom me. of the screen. Because I haven't used that one, um, but I know it works in the same way. Yes. You have to be able to do it's exactly the same wire, thing. It's twisting wire, basically. Isn't yes, it? exactly. Eight and it's a lovely pounds forty five. No, you're fine. What are you going to say? <laughs> what are you going to say? It's just a lovely um, addition to your toolkit. Yeah. You know, having these. Um, yeah. I don't think we've all explored fully exactly how what you can do with them. No. Because obviously you can create this wonderful twisted wire. Yeah. with them which we're going to use as part of the, the component but then it's twisting the coils now that's what we're going to do just going to lock this into place that was our gold copper wire spools one millimeter four millimeter point four sorry point six we only have 42 of those to start so that's at the bottom of the screen so rachel's made an entire bracelet using this tool that lovely Grecian. Let me just show you that mm. bracelet. That was the one millimetres, wasn't it? Mm. It might not be able to cope with the very heavy torque twisting of that yes, one. Yes, that's why you've got your metal will, one. But it, it definitely will with the be able to cope with this one, with yeah. this level of one. But that's the sort of thing that I'm twisting. That's the effect, isn't it? Coils. Thank you, darling. Together. Yeah. And it produces a beautiful, even twist. Beautiful, thank yeah. you, darling. I'll right. show you very quickly actually how, how it sort how of works. From the, yeah. I'm doing this at an angle, so you normally should hold this horizontally. So the wire slip and the coil slip down, that's because it's held at an angle. You should hold it horizontally. I've got a knot. If you can actually, are we assuming sometimes people area? tie it to a door knob or a see? key in a door? And I move this out, out of the way. I move this out of the way. Can you see it now? Yeah, 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 we can, darling. Thank okay. you. So, um, knot of wire on something fixed like a door post or something yeah. strong. Fix your wire twister tool that you've got. Whichever one you're using. Make sure these coils are even and in the same place. And this is a bit of magic. <laughs> because the, the, the metal one, obviously, when we get yeah. to the thicker gauge, yeah. would be... Uh, you, just, you just twist the other one, but yeah. you might use smaller gauges inside yes. it, because then it wouldn't... Um, so I'd use a 0.6 millimetre as the core wire for, for, for that little whisk. The one with we just had a screen, one, yeah. and it will twist beautifully. Yeah. I've got a, a section made with a 0.6, and that's the core wire. But you can see it's made a beautiful little twist, and it's come off, and it's ready to go. I just snip this, and we've got beautiful. Again, I probably could have twisted a bit more, but I'll show you one that we did earlier. Earlier, yeah, and. It's and you can oh do laser things with that. <laughs> I haven't even explored. Um, you could twist this around and, and put embedded in polymer clay, make a, 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 a this end in, in a polymer clay piece, um, mm. and that's an instant bangle that you can actually add yeah. in to a, um, a polymer clay section, Beautiful. for example. So, yeah. and with this um, one, the f the five wires or six wires twisted round mm -hmm. have twisted round so. Uh, so strongly that I've been able to just, I haven't even wrapped them around, I've just cut the ends and made a, a link at the end, or no, literally just made a link by just twisting and bending them over, they're so strong. Um, let's just make that, move that down a bit. You can see the cut edge is, mm. is just, just tucked, tucked in. Tucked in, yes. Um, and it's really strong. Beautiful. So, Beautiful. Um, there we are, just pop that Thank back. You, darling. Now, I'll put these back into place, and we're just going to quickly show you how to make that component up. That's the one I've just made, which isn't tight enough. So, 
Um, using the large gin gizmo mandrel, leave that core wire that you've got on and wrap round or start to attach. It doesn't really matter which and you've made a section, make a section of twisted wire and one millimetre wire and a section of wire twist and you can use that to make it each individual component. Nice text coming in there, thank you. Sorry I didn't get yes. quite to read that one. Who's that one from? I'll read it out again in a moment. Wrap that round, the, the, the twisted wire round and make a turn or two, or just one turn on perhaps, just to get it ready. Um, I made the turtle size of the turtle necklace very similar way, adding different textures and twirls and swirls of wire in that around the end and then what we're going to do is just so this is why you've left your, your core on the coiling gizmo haven't you we'll get that on the bottom of the screen our uh, this round gizmo ah yes you can see making up beautiful the uh, the textures and again mm. you can do this in any sort of way you like you might get a little bit of wire separation of these coils and I'll um, if you've got really nice fine um, chain slight nose pliers basically that will just be enough to make that coil up Press with your fingers to press that in. Press that round once, or tw turn it around the mandrel once. We keep the reason why we keep it on the mandrel is to stop the inside coil being crushed with the pressure of all this. Ah, a lot right. of pressure on it, exerting on it. Just turn that a little bit more, and I'm cutting that. And then what I'm going to do is tidy up the piece. Obviously, I'm not tidying that end, but I'm tidying up this end to show you. Crushing these bits in, these pieces in, Any of those edges. as much as you can. Yeah. We are going to hide it with a bit of wrapping actually around the dem stone. So um, as long as you get most of them in so they're not going to catch. Ca the ends of the gizmo coil might be a bit sharp, so make sure they're tucked in. So gizmo coil ends, always, always make sure they're tucked in, okay? When making any gizmo coil piece, these little sharp ends, just tuck them in and crush them in. Any wires that have separated, you either go through with a fingernail or some really fine nose pliers and just um, pull, push the little separated coils together. And you can go through the piece and do that because there's a few as you go that will have separated. So what you need to do is just go through that piece and just bring them together. That's one, just you spend a bit of time doing that. And what you end up with, again, once you've removed it off the coil, is a component which you've crushed both ends of and it looks like that nice fat sort of round coil you can make a, a thinner coil that's made on the small mandrel um, um, the small size gives me mandrel our mandrels so, are part of the wire work tools at the bottom of the screen which yes. also included um, in the, in steel the, chasing hammer that's and the steel block yes, yes that's so the mandrel that's the bottom yes. of the screen yeah. and the, you get two you get basic. different sizes so don't you I try and keep yes I yeah. try and keep my designs to these basic ones so that most people can use it and make ah, them right, you know, I do lovely. try and if not I'll, I will slip into the other ones um, occasionally so that we can use them so again just like we made in that bead we need um, in the beady bead we need a core wire just to because this is made on a large gizmo mandrel it can slip around on a one right. millimeter wire so add another bit of core in there to add support two um, beautiful beads either end a lovely amethyst drops there. And which are perfect for making um, sort of uh, teardrop earrings. Um, I mean, they're beautiful shape. Also, the amethyst is beautiful quality and colour. It's absolutely beautiful. Simple wrap loop at this end. And we are in February, so it's your birthday oh, yeah. for February babies. Um, uh, quick, quick one, yes. Um, and I'm just fixing that in place so I can work on the other end without it slipping around. Turning it over, I try and make sure the, pit, the loops are always horizontal in the same direction so it looks tidier if, that, if you do do that. Don't have your loops sort of wonky. The piece will sit better if you have the loops just horizontally. Symmetric, it looks, looks yeah. nicer. So they're all on the same plane yeah. and the same size. Again with the flat nose pliers, grip, crush and a couple of times and then what I'm going to do is just bring the wire down and wrap round this base of this this stone and remember to hold up quite tight at this point so it's going all over the place wrapping round and wrap around as much as I can just to hide any of those base wires and then leave a little section which I'm going to make into a detail you can tuck that in and crush it in, that's absolutely fine. But I'm just, I thought I'm into making swirls and things and curls. Wrap around to the base of the stone and then wrap it to hide any sharp edges. Cut the end, 
to about sort of one or two centimeters make sure that they're the same on both sides so you've got two little sharp ends there and those bits I'm just going to make this is making something a little bit more artisan crafted you know um, you, when someone looks at the piece they'll see that it's got that bit more detail mm, to it so I'm adding a swirl detail. in and crushing it in with my fingers again a similar thing on that side you can swirl in any direction you like just as long as and someone looks at that piece they see that bit more detail crushing it in so you've got a component made up now that you can add into your necklace uh, made on a larger scale, wouldn't it be a lovely bracelet or a centrepiece for a necklace? Would you mind if I just took this moment to adjust your mic? Because your beautiful uh, gemstone necklace is whacking your mic, and oh, we're no, losing no. what you're saying there, oh, darling. Don't want that, no, we don't. No. We want to be able to hear. There we go. I think it just got tucked inside your frock. Oh, oh, my, got lost. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to go straight on to making the pendant now. Um, if it, is that okay? We'll yes, please. That. Yes, my darling. So yeah. um, we have some frame components. This is made with the one millimeter. Um, uh, gold tone wine it's beautiful um, so I've made two V's a little diamond with um, two long sides and a little sort of um, um, eye pin loop but longer yeah. so don't forget components. to check out your baskets there's a lot of baskets full of goodies Rachel and they're gonna miss out aren't they darling yes what yeah, happens because they go quite quickly yes. if someone else takes them so uh, yes you're gonna be disappointed because that wire mm. that wire gold bundle is well literally almost gone so and the twisting tool is nearly gone as well so please 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 don't forget to check out now what we're going to do is just start to add these pieces together and i think you probably all know how to make a little diamond shape as long as you make a little diamond shape yeah. i think because i really want to concentrate on the technique of adding yes it exactly together. yeah i'm going to use uh, really you should use about um two meters of wire uh, for this part although you can use shorter there are points that you can add in you don't want to run out at any stage along here because that will make that wrap. If you assume that you don't want to run at any stage along here. No. You can run out there because you can tuck in, and you can run out around this point if you want to tuck in and around here. So, but you don't want to run out this no, bit because it'll look messy. The flow. Is this the point four, honey? Yes. Yeah. Which is a brilliant wrapping wire. Um, so, basically, what I need to do, <laughs> starting in the middle. Of, your, of, the, uh, of the section for both wires, I'm going to wrap a little bit round um, the, the base. Uh, there we go. Just a little bit round the base. And we're going to start to attach things. This is the fiddliest part. Well, this is what Laura said yesterday. It's, it's like mm. the, the start, the anchor is always the most fiddly, yes. and, then, and then you After sort of get in the groove. Easier, yeah. Because it starts to fix into place and it's easier to work on the piece. This is the fiddliest part because um, nothing's attached yet. And, uh, and you think, oh, is it really going to work? Especially when you're planning a piece and making a piece first. I and mean, we're making it from scratch. Mm. And then I, um, and that's the most difficult bit because I have to gauge all the measurements and get it right. Mm. When I replicate the piece, it's much easier because it's all the work's done. I can measure up against the, the previous piece. It's yeah. much easier to, to do that. So when I make all the stages, that's the easier part. It's making the piece first of all. We think, oh my goodness, how's this going to work? <laughs> yeah. And I had Try ordered the wrong, gem, the wrong gemstones because I ordered different. I thought in my head of a totally different design. So the one you were going to get was different, this one. But the wrong gemstones arrived, but they, are, they were so beautiful. I've decided, and I was able to make this design, which I would never have made oh unless right. I had those gemstones. The gems inspired yes. the journey. Well, made it, yes, oh. because it was going to be something completely different. That's interesting. Yes, yeah, so you wouldn't have got this otherwise. So I'm really happy that the wrong gemstones are, that I had ordered, not anyone else had picked them for me, I had ordered the wrong gemstones. But they turned out to be right. So I've wrapped around the base of the tip of this, um, of this wire to give me a little gap and that little gap you see imagine putting another little teardrop of something in there a little if you made it on a smaller scale a little teardrop it from off, off from mm. the base of a tiny little drop of something yeah you know you can add and embellish these things mm. um but if you this like the eye bit there isn't it that we're just yes. attaching to this lovely drop bit so i've got my eye pin or long eye pin and mm. i've started to wrap around both the outer frame and through the eye pin a couple of times, oh the eye is not an eye pin, but you know it's an eye pin I shape. I know what you mean, yeah. Um, uh, a few times just to bind both together. And you do that both sides with both ends of the wire. As I say, this is the fiddliest bit. So three or four wraps, making sure that this is as neat as possible. So, and I'm going to be crossing my wires and being awful at the moment, so I'm really sorry. 
but really when you're doing this at home making sure make sure you do not cross your wires make this this wrapping as neat as you can um, I don't like too many gaps in, in weaves and it's um, awful for me when I see uh, my own photography when I see I've made a mistake because it just sort of, um, leaps out at me four wraps along and then you start just to wrap up on the side to lock that into place this is already starting to want to hold into place it's not mm. that bad um, this one can come round I'm going to cut this because I don't for want to yeah, yes, for demonstration yes it normally work with longer yeah yes um, because I want to just do this quickly four wraps round this side piece And then to bring it, this in together and into into place. So you're already this is starting to add detail. It's had, starting to add structure to the frame, um, and you've got the tip of the pendant done. That little gap there, I don't wouldn't like normally. I would squeeze that together. You see that little gap at the tip? Yeah. Try and get rid of that if you can. Don't have that because it just looks messy. So try and get that weave as tight as you can. So a couple of wraps up, and you're ready to start on the next stage. I'm, I'm going to move on to the next stage and bring that up from the um, the side. Lovely. Are you okay with that? So yes. you've got that anchored like that. Now we need to add in the diamond shape. I know it seems awfully complicated, but if this is a technique to get you confident or start to be confident in adding pieces of wire together into frames and things like that, you know? Um, and. You know, all these things are meant, to, it's meant to be fun, and it's meant to be a journey, and you're meant to be learning as you go. And, and the bundle, you know, the gold you know, wire bundle that we, we've got, 49.85, and we, we took £10 off the price to buy them individually. I mean, that it's not just for this project, that, that's perfect, yes, isn't it? Because you've yes. got a 0.4, we haven't really talked much about the gauges, but you're doing the wrapping with a 0.4, the one millimetre is your function. structure. Mm. They all have their function. The, the 0.4 millimetres is great for uh, those fine wraps, uh, for fine coils, for the detail, and actually in strength in numbers. Um, yes. And the one millimetre for the frame, um, and for all sorts of things. Yeah. You know, all sorts of things. And it's working out at 16p a metre, so it's there on the screen, KLGC28. Don't forget to check out your baskets, and there is some availability, especially if you want to emulate this project. No. So we're going to attach now. I've got, got bits of wire everywhere. Drop. That's all right. <laughs> um, what I should do, I'm going to actually just talk through this bit, yeah, if you don't okay. mind, no, no, because no, no. Um, it'll take too much time. Yeah. Okay, honey. And what I've done is I've placed the diamond. I'll just talk through it. I've wrapped some wire along the midsection here, and mm -hmm. other, another section of 0.4 wire, and I'm going to add this in to the back. And this is the this is the complicated bit. If you want to add tape, like I have done, to help hold oh, things together while, you, yeah, while you're working to at it. this stage, yeah. add some tape and just cut it away later. Just make sure it's tape that doesn't leave residue on the wire because yeah. sometimes it can. Um, and what I'm going to do is bind this in and bind this in here with another wrap down this point with some with some wire. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to show you that in place. Okay. If you don't mind. It's just because it's so fiddly and it can take a bit of time, but once you've got it in place, it's really firm. So what I've done is I've put that diamond shape in behind and spread the sides. Still have that core wire. Sorry, I just move your yes. head back. A yes, bit. the That's core. Right, the core yeah, wire is from that um, um, eye pin shape. Yeah. You've got the diamond sitting behind with its sides, and you've got the side frames. I've bound some wire along the central core. And wrapped a couple of times around this section to, to hold this bit together mm -hmm. and I've got this bit ready to start to bind mm -hmm. not only this bit but the second V into place ah, righty -ho. so um, I'm just going to wrap a couple of times just cut the wire a bit don't need it that much around the top bit to lock I've, I've wrapped maybe three times I'm holding my fingers to try and keep these wires parallel, not <laughs> passing under each other. We don't really want them um, folded over each other because we want the frame to, to have a symmetrical side, a shape to it. I'm wrapping around this central core wire a couple of times. You probably need to go about, f um, not a couple, it's actually eight or nine times. That's going to come up to the middle bead. Um, so to continue up there and I'll show you a piece in a minute with it, with it finished off better. So you've done that, and that's, 
but you need to keep that as neat as possible. Th this bit is going to be hidden, so don't worry about that neatness here, um, but you need to keep that neat and you need to keep that wrap up very neat. Now you should have a little bit of wire here at the base of that wrap down with that separate piece of wire that you did. Add in your second V. Now I often stroke along the wire to help sort of semi-work harden it and also straighten out the wire. Placing it in behind, this is the fiddly bit. So are um, you, you, you're kind of positioning that at the tip of the teardrop? At the tip, at the very, wire. it's actually just above. Just above. You've got to be really precise with this. Right. They're really quite close together. You can be binding around three wires at, at some point. I'll show you the next piece. Now, you've got the base here and two Vs. You don't want to be binding around the outer frame. So having all these wires here can be a bit confusing, but just make sure you pass the wire down. That's going through, through the eye pin, the eye pin. pin and down and up through your new, new v. wires and I've gone basically through yeah the new V and the point of the spear tip V or the diamond V yeah the diamond sorry so there's it will this is the most complex part of the piece in that we actually bind in together quite a bit it looks dreadful at the moment it'll look better once you've done it all and once you've bound it all together just make sure that this V fits on the outside of the diamond a couple of wraps through this is the most fiddly bit this is a bit you think it might not work but it does because I've done it several times and it does work. Up through both sides a couple of times, two times on each side through both, one wrap on one side, one wrap on the other to help keep this diamond in place. Could I be a pain and ask you to just show me the reverse to camera? Because yes. the reason I say that is um, just the positioning of that third V and yes. where you had it, because you said it was quite precise in relation yes. to the... I mean, I've got a strip, because I've taped these wires together. I don't want to confuse you, I've done a silly you, thing, but I've just... We can, can see, see from behind yeah, where can. it's... You said it's We've very precise. We've got these two wires here for the side for later, but this one I'm passing up through. So we can Again. see that it's positioned right just below that, um, what, the diamond. Yes. Thank you. And then passing in. And then this wrap needs to be a bit tighter than I've done it. Um, and then pass it in and cut off and that's ready and you've got to tuck that in tuck that in tight now I'll show you on the next piece that is a little bit neater than that okay. so actually this starts to be you see you've got uh, basically just two wraps either side so that looks neat doesn't matter about the back so much, but this front piece looks neat. Two wraps, two wraps either side. So I'm going to move up to the next piece, I think, because... We've had a question as well, Rachel. Sorry yes. to digress, but yeah. um, we've got a lady confused about how to attach the wire to a wire twisting tool. Now, which tool are we talking about? The metal one or the one we just had on the show? The one that we just had on the, sh so the show? That I'm... Um, I uh, got to be dreadful, but I think that... that that the you unscrew disc. the screw yeah you've got two washers I you put the plastic disc in between the two washers and screw it back up again yeah then I think you just literally put the wires through and not and either knock them or whatever yeah, at the back so they come, up, come out yeah each wire from each thing so I had two so basically I would put them fairly opposite to each other mm -hmm. and then um, all you do then is turn it yes yeah, so attach that um, yes but to the other end to a door handle yes. or well, yes. you've got your clamp here, or yes. you just uh, the key in the door, and then obviously don't that's be angry with me if I said that wrong because I haven't mm -hmm. used it before. Yeah, so be yours is the you know only because no I um, that was out of stock when I wanted to get it, so right. I bought the other one because it was in stock, and it was just simple as that. But <laughs> we've got loads of people on the Facebook as well able to help if you're just yes. having problems about how to attach. That's how but I've that's seen what it done. It is. Actually, and you take that screw off, and yeah. imagine there's two washers which would hold that either side of that. Screw back in, make sure that's firm. I think that screw can sometimes come undone, so just keep an eye on that to make sure that and then that we just stays. Firm. Sort of not on our wires and then so the twist it. The disc, yeah, yeah. And you can hold that. This little, this has a, looks like it's got a little sheath that you can hold on to one and turn the handle. Lovely. It looks like that. So there's only about what 14 of those those left actually. Yes, so well, again, I'm just going to manhandle you ever so slightly. And I do uh, tend to move about when I it's, talk, and that's, that's all right, darling. What it is is your lovely hair and then your lovely necklace. So I'm just going to forgive me because mm. what you're saying is so important. I'm going to put this in the middle. Forgive me, darling. Okay. I think we should be okay now. Thank yeah. you, darling. Now we've got to the stage now where we've got the 
the pieces all, all together. And I've wrapped up either side on the, on the we finished with the, the wrapping down that centre bit. Yeah. Um, and I'm actually just going to cut this because I don't want this um, in um, this. I want to cut that one as well. Now I'll just work on this one. So I've wrapped up about four or five wraps <laughs> around the outer wire and we've got to a stage where we can start to wrap across both all three wires. This is, as I say, this is the fiddliest bit. Once you've got this bit done, you'll be absolutely fine. Okay. So we're at a level where we can wrap across all three. The main thing you've got to do is remember to make sure all three are parallel to each other and they remain parallel to each other. So to be honest, spend a bit of time making sure the wires look nice and straight and parallel. These have been sitting in a plastic box with, um, with you know, other things crushed on top of it. So they probably, um, I, I would have made a bit more effort to make these wires nice and straight while I'm using them. So make sure they're, you do, I'm doing three by three weave, I think down it. Yes, three so weaves. So you're just attaching the two outer. To all of them. In fact, you're going through all three wires. Oh, the sorry. These and the diamond all oh, together. Oh yes, right. So the two outer V's and your diamond all together. Drop. Mm. Are this, all being this is the most complex right. part of it. And if you can master this, do you know what? You can do anything. To be honest, mm -hmm. if I can do this live on air, I feel I can do anything. You know, it's. I think. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. If I manage to do this, so three, three close together, and three wraps around the outer frame. This will start to lock that weave into place. Um, pushing down with either fingernails, but if you don't, not a fingernail fan, <laughs> use your pliers to, to push that. And everyone has their different techniques and tips for using, um, for actually manipulating wire. And I'll just show you with the pliers again, pushing down, just like I did, I think, with the dragonfly, pushing those little wraps together. To the nice and snug. It really neat, mm. because I, I'm, a fan of, I'm afraid I just like neat wire work. And I'm probably looking, zooming in on this and thinking, goodness me, what she's talking about. But if I, if I make it at home on my own, you know, you spend the time and you really make sure that the wire work is as beautifully neat as possible. One, two, three. And in fact, actually, because I've uncut that, I can actually just zip down. You can see this is starting to form a pattern down the side of this. And if you feel the wires are not sitting parallel to each other, crush them with the pliers. Like if you feel the, the wires, camera? yes, yeah, if you feel the wires aren't sitting parallel to, to each other, crush them with the pliers a bit and make sure that they're nice and parallel. We get that up vertically to this camera, honey, uh -huh. and we can see that, so we've gone through the two outer well, and then and into then, and the, the, and the diamond. Drop, so the diamond. So crossing all three. all three. We've had a question as well, my love. What was that, yeah. darling? It was a trace, Tracy. We'll get it on the screen. We've had a question while you're wrapping. Yes. Um, Please, can we have the dimensions of the four frame stages of the heart pendant? Truly amazing designs, Rachel. Oh, thank, you. thank you. When you say dimensions, do you mean? Well, what I will do is I'll measure them at the moment. Can we? Um, can I get home and measure them and put them on? When we got the photograph up on yeah. Facebook, can I do that when I get home this evening after I have a glass of wine? Please. More importantly, definitely, and after definitely the wine. need a glass of wine, and then yes. I will put those dimensions up, those lengths up, if you don't mind. And uh, because that would be lovely, yeah. they're all over the place at the moment, and um, I think we all need to have a glass of wine when we get home, and then, I, and then, then yeah, what Saturday, I might I do it. though is if I've got time after we finish the demonstration, I'll, I'll um, just try and see if I can get them measured on a bracelet board. If you do, if that'd yeah. be lovely. Yeah, that'd I can't be lovely. actually remember because quite, quite honestly, we're cutting quite some of these wires off. Yes. And I was again using too much than not, not, not enough. So Tracy, it's coming, darling. We'll yeah. uh, measure it after the after so the So again, show. three around that side, and you can see that weave coming up. Again, that first wrap, I could have made it a little bit better. Again, do exactly the same up the other side until you reach this this uh, the point at the top of the diamond, which I'm going to move straight on to. Okay, I've got one that I did earlier, and a bit neater, yes, <laughs> to show you it can be done. Um, and you can see actually it's all starting to hold together mm. nicely. This could be a beautiful base veneering, just on its own. Can we hold that upright, right, darling, vertical? There we go, thank you, sweetheart. You yeah. And now I we're see, not we can clearly see the three there, yeah. yes. I could have cut that off, I've just left that hanging there, but um, what we're going to do now is just wrap around the outside two and not the central three. So we fin come up to the top of that diamond or the, the shoulder of the diamond across all three wires, doing that um, three by three and three wrap. And then we're just going to continue up, just doing the two 
outer wires and I'll show you here a little bit. This is, I mean, again, I like this weave because it's lovely and easy to do. But it's so effective and so neat. Well, Dawn, we hope you're feeling better, my darling. She says that she's been a bit ill recently and the show is an absolute lifeline and she's loving the design. Thank so, you, Dawn, Dawn, we send all we'll get our better love. Soon, darling. Yeah. And then three and three, and I'm trying, trying to do this upright so you can see a bit better this weave. Ah, and this is just the because uh, I the haven't altitude. secured the top, it's lovely and easy. Mm. I'm doing this backwards, if you see what I mean, but you can hopefully see what I mean. One. Yes, this continues that lovely weave all the way up the mm, side. Yeah. Now we're going to get to a point where we're going to put some gemstones on, so we have an idea of where um, it all. <laughs> All should fit together. So I'm going to do that next. We're going to move straight to that now. Because the kind of it's like a, a um, I'm looking. It's like a well. It's like a stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Yes, isn't it? and just this this act of this weave is a such a it's a quite a lock. It locks in place. Yeah. Um, and it's so neat and so. So effective. how many would you say you, you're doing on each? Two right. on the outer. Well, it's three and three. Three and three. three. You can do three three two three. by three, but three by three is quite an effective three. and it's actually quick. Three it's round quicker. one, three round two. Three so we're going to three round two. Straight on to the next thing, which is when we put the beads on and some side pieces. Lovely. So we've got to that stage and we've done so continue wrapping up the sides. I'm going to take that away. So I'm making it jump. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine, darling. <laughs> no, that's off. fine. And then we're going to add some beads. This is looks like a wire octopus. Bear with me. <laughs> oh, I've just got to tidy up the wires. Again, they've been sitting in a box. Ah, oh, what I should have done was talk through in that last piece another important section. So bear with me. Bring it back. What you do need to do is, before we add the beads, I take them away is I'm going to wrap around the central section and up the sides with another piece of wire so yet another piece of 0.4 millimeter wire I'm just going to add that in have we got time to do that we've um, got about a quarter of an hour left, left. Honey, okay so. so I think we might talk just talk about it so I wrap across that central diamond with another bit of wire and wrap in and tightly wrap in a bead Make sure it's on the central part of, of the wire, the point four that you use, because you're going to use one end to wrap up here, mm -hmm. one end to wrap up there, for about ooh, um, two and a half centimetres, because this is then going to add spacing for the beads that you're going to put in. I see. You see, so that's the, you've got to jump from that stage to this stage by adding a central bead in and wrapping and up sure the sides. Make sure it's the wire. Yes. Take that one away. Understood. So sorry, I didn't have time to show you that, but if I talk through it, at least you've got the idea. Adding some beads in, and these one, this piece is specifically tailored to these gemstones. Although I'm sure you can adapt it to other um, beads and gemstones. That you've While got. we're here, I'll just introduce my matrix because we were on about findings. If that's all right, my love. Mm -hmm. um, this is a box of gold-coloured findings. Truly wonderful offer, mm -hmm. and with it you have the chain as well. Okay. Always nice for embellishments. Um, I know, Rachel's mm. eyes have just lit mm. up. Uh, a box of 20, rounds, beads, um, <laughs> tea bars. It's our gold finish on the copper finding kit, approximately 480 pieces, mm. and then a metre of the gold flash copper chain. So in there you've got bead caps, you've got rounds, shepherd hooks, um, oval links, jump rings, brush square charms, mm. flower charms, half moon charms. Uh, round beads, you, you, there's, there's just toggle clasps. You get a lot in there, so 480 pieces and a metre of that large oval loop chain. So that's everything again. LKG C27, and let's bring you a price and then we'll carry on with the what demonstration. What an, an enormous help. When you've I got know. to make up something quickly and you've got all those at your disposal and you make it look so professionally finished with those findings. Immediately. Immediately. Mm. 1695. We need to immediately mm. jump on mm. this. <laughs> Indeed, there's lovely bead caps in there and oh faceted rounds and saucers and squares and flowers and beautiful 1695. Massive, massive uh, saving. I mean it's not even working out a pound per pot because there's 20 of there and then you've got the meter of chain as well. So we'll keep that up on the screen while we continue with our gems. Now you've mm. you what you've done is you've put an agate and then an amethyst, and then you've 
put an amethyst and then an agate. Yes, so that's how I've done it. To make start off uh, forming a heart shape actually mm. with the with they the lend themselves things. to that beautifully, don't yes. they? With the teardrop and the round. Yes, they yeah. do. And I thought, well, I, and that, that's the, the pattern I came up with. So wrap the two by two all the way up until you get to that first junction point um, where you, there's a, like the, the tip of that gemstone yes, hits the tip of that Yes, it's horizontally wire, aligned, aligned isn't it? Yeah. And what I've done is made a kind of little shape <laughs> that will fit between those two um, beads. It looks like an upside down heart, like doesn't a, it? Yeah, like upside down hearts. So it's almost to bring the heart shape in through another part of the the design, the design. Yeah. and what I did is hand wound but you can actually put gizmo coil on with a very small mandrel in the um, you can make some coil up with that yeah lovely or you can hand wind it onto the wire which is what I did um, just to make it very tight onto the wire and then what I'm going to do is use the now you've outer. got some little rounds on there as well I'm sorry to interrupt oh, yeah. but I just noticed yeah. that although they're slightly yeah. smaller than what you're using we've got some some rounds Yes, in there anyway. I mean, you're just an accent of some beads. You can use those embellish. I mean, I use those Which all the time. Which you use larger ones there. If, um, you, the, on top of your, um, if the little golden peacock um, bird uses those. Oh yeah. Ones actually. Oh yeah, that, beautiful. That uses those beads, those copper beads. Thank you, one. thank you, darling. Okay. Um, so, and you now need to attach this. There's again another practice in attaching, fixing. And, and detail into the designs. Mm. This poor bit of wire has been unpicked so many times because it was <laughs> I got too far and then I had to unpick it. So it's a little bit um, it's crinkly, but I can still use it. Um, and I'm wrapping it round the outer bits of this um, detail. This is again I've used too long a piece, but it's the piece that the length you should be working with really. One, two, I think three wraps is always enough to secure. Two, I always feel it's going to pull apart a little bit, although one wrap is not, not quite enough on a piece like this. Um, two will start to secure it a lot more firmly. And three, into place. And do that for the same for the other side. Um, I'm going to have to, we'll move on a bit in a bit to the next section because we've really got to get going. Um, three wrap you can hear a little click and that was it actually um, that wire sitting into the the wrap around this this is why I didn't use bare wire because ah, it, this you said it has a nice purchase really if you've got your coil on there absolutely the yeah. word I would have loved to use mm. <laughs> and then um, the purchase of the wire yes mm. and then a couple slices, of those said, yeah. around there three of those ready to get bring along the next wrap across do exactly the same attach there on the other side and also you've got some wire left over from this wrap up here at the back yes which we left so we again extra? just use that so we're going to attach this oh. at four points one yeah. two three four points so we're going to make this little section really really strong there's only 34 of those matrix boxes at 16.95 with your meter of gold flash copper chain available down to under 30 so again you know what i'm going to say don't forget to check out your basket. So the other then, thing with mm. um, having the coil there, because well, not that you're necessarily concealing where it's attaching, but the attachment mm. blends yes. in beautifully with the coil wrap anyway, Absolutely doesn't it? Absolutely so. Um, again, that's going to get. I'm going to actually leave that bit because we we use that. Don't cut that off yet because you can use that to attach something later on. Okay. Okay. Do exactly the same on the other side and curl these down. So you attach at four points and curl these down. We're going to move on to the next point. Okay. Are you okay there? Yes. One, two, three, four points of attachment and curl this. So we're going to move on to the next section. Now we've progressed quite a bit now with this one. It's all right. And some. Lost. I'm just the microphone has gone for a bit. Take this off. Would you mind? Is oh, that all right, darling? As beautiful as it is, it, it's me. yeah. Thank you, darling. It's my ring of confidence comes off. It's, it's gorgeous. I'm so <laughs> sorry. It was just decided. Now I'm going to clank against it. Um, so. No, it, it's Thank no good. Darling. It's more important to get this across to people. So we've got two wires left over from this wrap here, for which we're going to attach some bits pieces here. I've finished off quite a way of this side. Can you see how I've done it? I've continued with, I think, 10 more pairs of 3x3 three three 
So I've, I've counted those. It's a really easy way of making sure you've got your distances right. As long as your weave is even, 10 of those, 10 of those, and I made a little loop. So I'm going to do that now with this side. Okay, my okay. darling. Then we have just under ten minutes left. Just okay. to about nine. Just okay. So you're well, aware, then we can so talk through. We can talk through the rest yeah, of it exactly, because yeah. we're using very similar techniques. Now, this is why we need a whole day of you. <laughs> also, it's just not enough, <laughs> is it? It's just not enough. We need a double whammy of Rachel. I mean, she may collapse Rachel. in the process, bless her, because you know. I, don't, I've used to, I did it once. I did the day show and the, the, the evening show. I think Gemma's done days where she's done. Um, all three and things like that. It is, you can do it, but you probably need about a week off afterwards to sort of um, <laughs> to keep going. So I made a little loop there with the round nose pliers, and then just continuing on with this. It's not very beautifully done, but let me just make sure those are balanced. How much time? We're not too far off finishing. It's not too bad. So again, I would have spent a bit more time making that little loop a bit more beautiful. But what I've done, and this is in the way, I'm very sorry, is I make sure that this is in the front. And we're going to talk through this bit because I don't think we've got time to actually physically wrap up. So what I've done is wrap up the inside frame there and then start the three by three wraps here including this wire here in the a wrap across at this point. So I'll just pretend I've wrapped up to that point and I wrap it, continue on the wrap and then bend this down to the back of the pendant to start and it really starts to anchor this in place. Then shape this round as I've done here and then I'm going to show you the next bit in a minute continue the wrap until you actually finish here. Oh, uh, one thing I didn't talk through, forgive me, I made a wrap loop at the top of here. That so was our middle just make thing. sure, see there's so many steps to, to remember, mm. just make sure also you, I've made a little wrap loop here and if I turn it over I made a little detail of a swirl at the back just to add something beautiful to the back of the pendant. So that little wrap loop you're going to make into an attachment to actually start holding the piece together. I see, right. Um, I'm going to, we have to forget about this side because it's too messy. Uh, I'll just put that away and we'll work with that. Uh, well, we won't work with that at the moment. I'm just going to show you the attachment for this bit. Am I going to use um, a tie, uh, just carry on at attaching with this bit of wire just wrapping around both the two frame wires and that loop and it will start to bring this heart together into really solid firm shape. So I've wrapped around once. That's why you need the anchor there. Yes, yeah. that little loop is mm. important so don't forget to do that. Um, and um, again, there's so many th stages to remember. That's why I'm so sorry I forgot to, to say that. Well, but you know, like you said, we'll photograph it. We'll, um, well it will, I mean, at least I've said it and we know that we've got to do it. So yeah, it's exactly. all right. Um, I'm just going to turn this around so I can see it. And then what I just need to do is do that little anchoring, sort of wrap around the, one of the frames. The out, the, what will tend to be, it'll be the inner frame right now. Matrix, three around uh, there. nearly sold out, so we're just going to bring the gemstones back on. Um, again, they're the limited stock there. And then wrap around the central core again, just to make sure that's just a couple of times. Don't do the whole lot. Um, don't, just don't wrap down to the whole bottom loop. Cut down, to, wrap down to here, and then cut it off because we're going to put some new wire on, ah, fresh wire. Because okay. we've, by this point, the wire is quite ragged. You've worked with it a little bit, and you right. might be running out. Okay. So we're going to put some fresh wire on. So we'll move on to the next stage, which is the last stage. Okay. Are we all right? Are we okay with that? Is Ooh, everyone? Yeah, I think we're about three, four minutes. But okay. you know, like I, I said, we'll right. four Actually, minutes. Perfect. If we, uh, we miss. Can but, uh, always readdress. <laughs> This bit. Now, what I've done, you can see where I've attached here with that final wrap round attached, attached. Then what I've done is bring on a new piece of wire, wrap it through both the loops and these two bits of wire here, which I've curled round and made sure they're all the same length. 
this is all the same length as the other side so cut that in ready oh, to, yeah. so that you can curl it all down at the same to the same level and what I've done is wrap centrally here one end of the wire I've, I've wrapped all the way around the wire here one end of the wire I've wrapped all the way around and attached here and here and attached the side frame and we're going to do the same with this one we're going to attach it to here and the side frame and this starts to bind it all together before I do, I'm just going to quickly show you the back here where we use that little remnant of wire from the back of the of that wrap up here. Remember, we had a little bit of remnant left from when we attached yes, this you side said, don't piece. Cut it off, don't cut you? it off. Make these into little eye pins and attach that all through as well. And then that help keeps the beads in place. Mm. Now, again, you can adapt this by changing the shapes of these wires if you want to add a slab in for example say you've got a, a heart shaped pendant or a slab in or mm. something like that mm. you can adapt this and put something else in oh, place okay. but obviously this pendant was designed for this for this these sets of gemstones so that it, it is for these ones but try if you have a different set of gemstones or a slab or something just add it in place so we've bound those two in as well moving back up to here i'm just going to show you that last little bit of shaping if, and really, it doesn't matter if we've run out of time now. We can just use all the time we've got just to show you the last little bit of the piece. Mm -hmm. So we're fine, actually. I can't believe actually we managed it, to be honest. I thought this is too complex, but we've managed it. <laughs> well done, you, darling. Oh, one, two, three. And actually, because you're so kind and gentle with me, it's, it's, um, I, it's absolutely lovely. So um, one, two, three. Just make sure these are about three wraps, I think and make sure they've pulled it. At this point in time, you've got to be really neat. Make sure these wires li ri lie really close together, really neatly, beautifully close together. Take time to carefully place your wire in place. Three wraps, can you see how cl how neatly they lie? Try and be, this is a bit you have to be careful with. Yeah. You can't hide these ones, these are on full show. And then lock that in place with a wrap round here and continue to wrap to the side and we're going to attach the side. Remember we've done the same attachment with this lot as well. So the whole piece has structure with these bindings through the whole piece. If I can wrap to the side, then we've all we've got to do is make some swells and we're finished. So I'm really oh, happy you. that we've done this actually and managed it, even the side components, which I'm happy about. One minute left then, my love, before Perfect. we move on to the next section. So we're just about at the side frame one or more, two more little wraps. I've got hot hands. And then wrapping around both. Again, um, however many times, I think I went for three, so I'm gonna go for three with this one. Yeah. Wrapping around that side frame. Pulling this in, pressing the fingers down, pulling this tight. You can hear little, little clicks as the wire fits into place. And that's a good sign because you've got the um, the grip and the purchase. I shall not forget that word, it's a good one. And then you just curled. And then I've just curled the ends. Oh, uh, I think I wrapped up a little bit more. Yes, you went to after your attachment, you've gone round another five circles and then you've curled in. Yes, and I've left, before I let's just show you the end of wire, the bare end of wire, I've probably gone about 12 millimetres for that first bit to give the bare wire curl and then I've curled the actual Okay, lovely. We'll leave it there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rachel. Oh, we've still so got happy. another hour of the show. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. More still to see. Before any of the gemstones that arrive here in Jaipur can leave Jaipur for the UK, they need to be tested. So all the genuine gemstone strands go from the vendor to an independent laboratory. They're then tested to prove that they are what they say they are. Now as you can see here, this shipment of emerald arrived this morning and it comes with this. This is really important. 
This shows that the emerald has been tested in random strands and can be proven to be genuine emerald. If this authenticity card doesn't arrive with the genuine gemstone, then the shipment won't go to the UK. Tune into Jewelry Maker every day at 5 p.m. for our Miss It Miss Out show, where we'll have four hours of jam packed deals, including clearance offers, end of line, last in stock, and low, low prices. The Miss It Miss Out Show, only on Jewelry Maker. Once the gemstones leave the laboratory, it's then down to the quality control process. This is a really stringent process, which is completed by Rally and by Ithaca. Random strands are taken from each one of the lots and you get the average size, carat weight and length of each strand. And this is done so that you know the information that you see on your screens is correct. Join guest designers Debbie Bulford and Rachel Norris to explore the endless possibilities of combining polymer clay and wire work. This DVD guides you through a variety of projects and will give you the inspiration you need to create your own designs. Advance your jewellery making and fuse your talents together with this amazing DVD. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. Hi, welcome back. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I think there was a lady called Helen. She's struggling. She hasn't got Facebook. Um, my darling, surely there is a friend out there who will lend you access to their Facebook so you can log on and find out uh, the measurements, which Rachel said she'd do later on. After. The poor woman, she needs a glass of wine. I can't say I blame her uh, before, but we will get those measurements. I, I can't believe in today's age that there isn't somebody gorgeous Helen that can lend you access to the Facebook and, and log on I do hope so sweetie um, I'm sorry I can't think of another way of doing it really but anyway let's get on with more gorgeous goodies hemp cord yes indeed now we've got the, the lovely more sort of what, what should we call it? Well, the sage kind of ones, haven't we? We've got all the colours here. The black. Uh, well, this is great for the guys, the girls, the kids, everything. Because we've got the black. We've got the sort of the tawny brown. Um, the lovely sort of cream, white, purple, vibrant green, yellow, blue, red, orange. It's like a double bubble uh, bundle. Is it double bubble? I've got two of everything here, sweetie. Yeah. One's one mil and the other is 1.5. Oh, sorry, I beg your pardon, I misheard. One is one mil, the other is 0.5. I beg your parsnips. So, and we've also got the naturals here as well. So it's a massive bundle. So you've got the pack of 10 that are 0.5. So your finer ones. You've also got a pack of 10, let me just show you here, that are the one millimeter. Then you've also got a pack of four that are the 0.5 in the natural colours as well. So you can see the difference, the 0.5, the one millimetre and the natural pack of four. But you've also got those as well, great for the Kumi Hemo, uh, great for um, the braiding and the friendship bracelets, macrame, um, just for basic threading through pendants, keeping it simple. Just, oh, just a fantastic, fantastic bundle. Essentials to have. And we haven't had them on for a while. RYGC20. It is a mega bundle. So you're getting 24 in total. Every colour imaginable, royal blue to green to yellow to the, the more sort of masculine colours like the buff and the brown and the cream and the black. You should be paying. Wow, that's a great price for 24. And then in each one you've got, is it a metre, oh, uh, 10 yards, 10 yards, 10 times 10 yards of each one. And of the natural cord colours, you've got four by nine metres. So this, the, the looser ones are 10 by 10 yards of each colour. And these are, well, nine, nine metres on each. So £6.85, £4 saving absolute essential add it to your order 
on our free phone number now. Masses, and we've got all those different gauges as well, if you like, well, gauges, I should say, uh, widths, 0.5 and 1 millimetre, all the different colours, £4 saving to you today while the show is live. £6.85. But we can... Let's do my gold-plated wire. Yes, let's do it, darling. Uh, I can see it indeed because we have the lovely silver. We were inspired by the pearl ring Rachel's wearing. Now, this is gold-plated silver wire. You have a metre of it. So, for a gorgeous ring, fantastic for creating the basis of the butterfly, fantastic, or the basis of the dragonfly like we were taught earlier by Rachel. It's a metre, it's one millimetre thick. It is sterling silver with a gold plate. So really going for this, this precious entity for creating just two of those teardrops of gorgeous amethyst and then creating a shepherd's hook, wire wrapping and attaching your, your amethyst drop you can do, make it really simple. There is your gold-plated silver earrings. You don't even need any other attachments. How would you use the sterling silver gold-plated wire if you had a metre of it and um, some gems? Would oh, you goodness. Um, obviously, the, the rings, earrings are beautiful. Mm. Um, I'd incorporate it in, obviously. Into it. Which gauge is it? One, One millimetre. Pendant, yeah. uh, really special pendant. Really um, special. Use it with the high-end gemstones. If you add in the 0.4 millimetre wire in the same gauge, yeah. uh, in the same colour, and, and, and wire in, uh, I would make a, a flower. Weave it with the 0.4 and put some high-end gemstones in the centre. Well, it's funny you should say high-end gemstones because I've got those gorgeous sapphires coming up. I've got some lovely ruby, but I've only got one strand of the ruby. That's 18 carats of sapphire. Um, and we've also got this really pretty crazy light. I'm hoping at some point I can fit in as well. Because that is divine. Right, let's bring in a price so I can bring you all these goodies. Should be 12.95 and should be at 12.95. I know, what do you mean it's not 12.95? That's a great price. We're gonna do something even better for you because we're so inspired by the wire wrapping and the wire designs. And this is no ordinary wire. This is gold plated silver wire at 9.95. We want it to be accessible. We want it to be affordable. UDGP 1.0, really high end brooch, a really high end ring. Like I said, a pair of earrings because incorporated into that sort of wrap of that lovely teardrop that Amethyst Rachel was working with. You know, you make your shepherd hooks there, nice and easy, fits into 10 pounds. Beautiful, it's the one millimeter, and that's precious silver with gold plating. Well done on the web. Don't forget Gorgeous Webbers to check out. There is a queue on the phone lines, but only about 60 seconds. And on the 0800 number you see at the bottom of the screen today, that is a free phone number, and you're rolling over the 295 post patching for the day. So if you bought with Lucy and Debbie this morning, or you joined in with myself and Rachel, or you want to join Ed tonight, then of course you roll over the 295 for the entire day. So uh, don't forget to check out. Now, we're coming up to the final countdown. All of these all that you're about to see may have only been on air once before, or this is really your last chance saloon, last in stock. So limited edition numbers, either because they've been very popular or, you know, they've just weren't many to begin with. You know, there's only 40 or 50 of them. So whatever you do, don't miss out. It really is, if you like, last chance saloon. So let's get started. Shall I start with the ruby? There's only one. 30 carats of ruby, the last strand. You might think, well, why? Well, it was just so amazing, I thought I've got to. So we won't spend long, first person to dial. I know, July. That was in box number one, darling. Oh, number two, box number two, try box number two. I honestly have not moved them. Shall I pick something else? It's not registering on your screen, sorry, everybody. It must have sold already, sorry, it must have already gone. Okay, what do you want me to go for, darling? My large display box. I tell you what, those pearls are gorgeous. So sorry, but was something that was shown in stock earlier. I thought, well, I've got to show it because it's so beautiful. It's already gone. Uh, this is what can happen on the website. I do apologize. Let's do my large display box. So within this box, especially if you travel with your pieces, you'll have seen these with uh, putting in our silver clay kit. Uh, this is, you know, for displaying your rings or for instance, if you're laying out a, a beautiful pearl necklace and what you can do is just get your two pins for instance you know that would in, in your lot you know and you can just have it on display once you've made the necklace there 
beautiful. Or for your individual rings, 595. Very handy for taking your boxes, your tools in there as well, but it just gives a lovely professional finish. And I, I love the locks as well. 595 for the large display box. SW Q Z38. Last 10 now, 595. Last four. Get it. Ready or not? Here I come. What's next? Let's do it. Chunks of icicle goodness. Lemonade ice. Yeah, looks like champagne ice, actually. Mmm, look at this. Large citrine nuggets, but a really honey gold, a real butterscotch gold. Now, the, some, some parts seem frosted, and some almost seem like there's a silky moistness. It's almost like some have been given a, a satin finish, and some have been given a, a gloss finish. Does that make sense? Lovely, aren't they? Really individual, especially if you were lucky enough to get your gold wire to wrap an individual piece. What does Mark like to do with these? Oh, yeah, indeed, that's a good idea because something like this in the more sort of rough hewn, if you had your display, your display box, you know, if you had your jewellery, so you could have a big, not that you can't make things out of it, but if you had, look, this is the, the citrine and it's rough hewn and these are my faceted rounds and this is the finish of your jewellery. It really gives your table, if you'd sell your jewellery or, you know, make your jewellery to sell your wares, which I know a lot of you are very industrious at doing, um, as well as making jewellery out of it, of course, it, it just gives you a very professional edge and obviously you know what you're talking about. So citrine, it's most, you know, before it's polished, before it's faceted, before, you know, the lovely finish that it's given, before you've given it that deluxe finish with your jewellery. So that's just something Mark does. Let's give you a great price, N M A G P 68 Wow, big nuggets. And it's real citrine, I hasten to add. It almost reminds me of um, those big nuggets of sh posh sugar that they put on sticks for you to stir in your coffee. Big, big nuggets. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 17. Last six in stock. First come, first served. Right, onwards and upwards. Do you want me to go in? Got to do those lovely pearls as well. Oh, this is divine. Look at the brilliance. It was the illuminating light and the brilliance that stood out for me on this one so pretty i had a lady in uh, Gemma crow's workshop she just in our shop just bought herself a sky blue topaz tennis bracelet now you can make your own now of course don't forget blue topaz topaz is november's birthstone but blue topaz is also associated with the birthstone for march and your aquamarine the blue is associated with in the topaz family as a birthstone for march babies as well so we get the best of both worlds aquamarine and blue topaz it's not just something i made up because i love it that's actually true uh, 95 carats how beautiful i mean it's like fresh it's like a babbling brook of fresh water just brilliance throughout and gorgeous sizes as well that graduate i'm just thinking of mixing those you know maybe with a darker gem or those pretty do you remember those lovely lighter white pearls you had the white and the silver pearls earlier oh the gorgeousness that could be created oh you've got to get these they are divine so let's bring you a fantastic price Ooh, 11.95 for a big carrot weight 95 carrots just some of those little gold beads because we've got uh, little crimps in between that off off like just plastic but you just think of either a little silver crimp or a little round bead in between if you've got your matrix box be beautiful wouldn't it you really show off those starry rondelles j g r u 43 right let's do some more should we do the pearls honey let's do those gorgeous pearls you want some for your uh, your mammy is it philip you want some for your mommy for what darling oh for your friend forgive me I want to put pearls and sapphires. Oh, put a sapphire in between. Providing your pearls are individually knotted, of course, give it that space. Mmm. Gorgeous. Pearl necklace, pearl bracelet, pearl ring, sapphires and pearls. Yes, please. 
Mm, let me get out my sapphires because they're gorgeous. They're coming up later. Just uh, ruining the display here because it's a pretty little box. But oh, look, 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 look. Ah, oh, oh yes, please. Mmm, sapphires and pearls. A whole string of amazing. It's my star buy at the end. Yeah, blue sapphire. But let's bring you these incredible. I'm not taking away from these white cultured pearls, which are divine. They are huge potato pearls. Uh, Baroque, we've given it obviously because they're not perfectly spherically round, but they're genuine pearls. It gives you the organic, real feeling of genuine cultured pearls as opposed to painted, past, painted plastic. You're going to have to buy two because they're our last in stock. And I say that because if you want to get the earrings to match, if you want to get the necklace to match, if you, you know, if the bracelet isn't enough, you want to complete the set. I know! That's just crazy talk! You want to, you've got to get these for your friend. Five ninety-five. You buy plastic pearls for that plastic that I imitates pearls you'd be hard pushed to get a bracelet for that in any uh, dress jewelry shop and it's all got its place but when we can make beautiful designs that Rachel's just shown us with real gemstones it's just a no-brainer it's 5.95 Lorraine Christine Sandra B Bryony Gladys Sonia well done Alicia well done in Hampshire Sylvia's got two strands that's the way to do it my darling because they are last in stock last of the current stock because we would love to get our pearls back in but at this price these are the last of the current stock it's it's always hit and miss isn't it different days different shows different stock right if you're on the phone stay on the phone so we can make sure you're successful because i'm going to bring you oh number 13 is divine uh which one darling 17 yes please you're not on the phone or ready for those pearls you need to pick up the phone now look at this labradorite i'm going to give them a twist so you get all of the labradorescence we could put these in our peacock this would be perfect for our peacock that rachel shown us how to make in his tail because with the peacock you get all those wonderful uh, metallic colors don't you of purples of blues of of turquoises i mean you think of a peacock's feathers it's the embodiment of the shiller of light that you get on the labrador essence of labradorite yeah move them around because they're cut in these gorgeous wheels as it were when they move we see green we see purple we see blue you see i'm just i'm moving it in the light not to make you dizzy but to, for you to see all that shiller, that labradorescence as the wheel moves around. What's that, honey? Darling, have, have, what's Rachel got a labradorite, Wattie, sweetie? <laughs> they're on about you and your labradorite. I don't know, darling. I've, I've lost. Uh, well, how would you use these, honey? Because they just. I, I suggested your peacock because of all the peacock shiller on there. Oh gosh. Um, are they wheels and things? They are like wheels. So yeah. You, you can um, put them on their side on their side and put a head pin through and make an eye, like an eye like for a piece, depending on where the shiller is. Um, they're great actually, just in in the necklaces spaces um, and. Actually, younger people just love, or some people just love delicate little bracelets. Yes, so that's true. Silver charm, and just want that with a little. I got given a beautiful um, bracelet um, with just some silver charms on them. Um, and it was just simple, just simple, simple stranding, yeah. and it was just especially beautiful. with all that cord we just had. Just thinking of a simple macrame, slipping the wheels on in between, just a yeah. friendship bracelet. Yeah, pretty. I used rondel for the um, uh, studding on the turtle, um, ah. the sea turtle I did, and that shape was surprisingly good when you're packing them into spaces. Um, ah, right. Well. Turtleage will come <laughs> in this edition three of Rachel's DVD. So if you want to have these to your store. Great for filling those little nooks and crannies and those spaces. Let's bring you 70 carats of the wheels. So that'll come late spring, early summer. This is why you're there. Well done, Alicia, Linda, Yolanda, Christina, Brian, he's back with me again. Oh my word, 4.95. Look at that price, 4.95. And you can see the quality of the Labradorite, 70 carats as with some great ideas from Rachel there. And uh, perfect, I just think absolutely perfect, made for the peacock design that you've just got. 
and you'll have whizzing its way to you with edition two of the Rachel Norris DVD. If you've missed out on that, just ask the call center, add it to your order for 95. Lovely with the sapphires as well, because the sapphire blue will bring out the blue shiller of your labradorite. Put it with greens like your praise your light, that'll bring out the green shiller on your labradorite. Put it with your pearls, you know, that shiller of light will match the luster of your pearl. Put it with the blues of your topaz there. The blue there will bring out the blue shiller. I mean, there's just, oh, Labradorite just goes with everything. Heather Anne Marie, Sylvia, Veronica, well done, Sheila, Andrea, and new bias, Pam, Jude in Norfolk, Joan Denise. Loads of you there loving the Labradorite at 4 95 Can't say I blame you. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Under five pounds. Beautiful. You know what I want to put with those pearls? I can see a box of garnet here. We will, promise. A present for me in box 11. Oh, lovely jubbliness. Look at the goodness we have got. <gasps> wow, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my heavens, under the sea, look at these oh, loving these are you at home i hope so because it is sumptuous these are my mermaid colors yeah i love 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 like like your peacock colors they match the colors you're wearing today you've got a little fleck of pink in there and your top yes. but other than that this is your top isn't it one of the season's colors i can't remember the t the um jd the jd green, green. Yes. i can't remember either is it it's the big yeah. jd teals yes probably there's a name it probably is it is <laughs> uh, the where we're finding out it's got a name other than you know green but yes teal. Yeah. yes the teal or the chartreuse whatever posh name they want to give it uh, yes. but this is aquamarine this is oh rainbow moonstone oh you're beautiful this is white topaz uh, this is 550 carats of the green agate with the black quartz and larimar 50 carats of Larimar from the Dominican Republic. Miguel Mendez, named after his daughter. Oh my word. Hemlock green, that's the color that they're going on about. Hemlock green, so like a, uh, a herb green, isn't it, hemlock? It was, yeah. Anyway, um, oh, beautiful. I love these 70 carats of these aquamarine nuggets. Look at those. If you've got those acarine bicones earlier, and these are the big nuggets in the rough, so like your citrines, you are about to get the most ridiculous offer on 70 carats of acarine graduated rough cut nuggets, on 175 carats of rainbow moonstone, on 95 carats of white topaz frosted nuggets, on 550 carats of the agate with the black quartz, and 50 carats of the larimar. Heavens above, this price we should only pay for the Larimar alone. And that's just ridiculous. How do you fancy? Oh my, oh, you can't do this. This is Larimar. This is Rainbow Moonstone. This is Clear Topaz. This is Aquamarine. This is ridiculous. Three pounds 20 a strand. Show me. 15.95 for all five. 99, sorry, 15.99 for all five sumptuous strands. Ridiculous. Larimar, for that strand alone, for the Larimar, 50 carats, 15.99 would be a steal. Just for that strand alone. One place we get it, the Dominican Republic. For the rainbow moonstone of the Tamil Nadu region of India, this beautiful moonstone, this beautiful feldspar, that would be great for 15.99. You know, any price, for, 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 any, for the topaz, for the aquamarine, I can't believe I'm saying this. You're gonna get a lot of jewelry out of this nugget for even our gorgeous agate stroke quartz. You know, you get the formation of the both with the big crystals and the smaller compact crystals there. You know, for all five strands, I know you can't believe it either. All five strands for 15.99. FNGC81 is all you need to know. Lots of new buyers out there, as well as Debbie and Coletta and Joanne and Leslie. Don't miss out. Five strands, they're working out at three pounds 20 each. Remember, this is the last in stock, our final countdown. So snooze you lose, miss it. 
miss out it really is last chance last in stock and we've had so many pretty pieces on the on the show today as well that would you know work beautifully with these as well you know take these on a further journey so for three pounds i've almost like got nowhere to go after this have i how do you follow that class act 15.99 Let's do some garnet. Well done, everybody. Hold the line. It's last chance saloon. Don't forget to check out your basket. Now, the reason I was obsessed with garnet is because of those pearls. I think this is a magical combination. And then, and also because there were none of the rubies. So this is the close we're going to get to those vivacious reds. Let me just pop a few thoughts in your mind there. Gold beads, pearl, and garnet. I mean, isn't that deliciously beautiful? Yeah, January, June's birthstones there. I mean, it's just luscious. You put a garnet between each of those pearls, heavenly, rich, expensive jewellery. Because that's what that says to me. Real garnets, real pearls, gold-plated silver balls there. Yeah. Just sumptuous. They just, oh, it's a match made in heaven. The reds, the red light flooding through these garnets is just divine. This is one of my gems of distinction. Strands, so pretty, very pretty as well to put with gentle pinks, don't, you know, or purples, you know, you might not think, but if someone that showed me the way, reds and, you know, not I mean maybe the lavender, but darker purples, it really works. This garnet is beautiful, like a fine red wine. I'm holding it up to get the light behind it just sumptuous the red and the blue the red white and blue with your sapphire your pearls and your garnets 70 carats bmru90 70 carats look at that quality are you ready for an absolute doozy of a price 70 carats under 15 pounds that is ridiculous who made up that price that he's shooting not that I, you know, I'm into the violence, but heavens above that is outrageous. The sparkle, it's good job management on around this weekend, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I haven't seen anybody. If I haven't seen them, we can't get in trouble. Uh, 14.95, subjects, get the light behind them. See that shine, they are glowing. They are bright, bright red. I mean, this is top end garnet. This is pure pyro pure fiery garnet that's a good picture but did you know like the ethiopian opal yesterday trust me hold them up to the light look at those vivacious reds get them home look at them in daylight you know midday perfect that gamut point you know get oh they are just you're just gonna gaze at those and think wow i paid under 15 pounds they are just sumptuous they're beautiful and it makes a big difference to get that light behind them. So allow your designs to get that light in there so you can really see the reds because it's looking darker on our screens than they are. Right, warning, warning, warning. Pick up the phone now. Pick up the phone now. Because I'm going to bring you that blue. Do you remember that blue I put with the topaz? and we put with the pearl. I'm gonna bring you the ice blue appetite, but you have to be on the phone now. I've only got 70 of these. This is the biggest quantity of the hour. So everything else has been below 70 in available stock and it's probably gonna be the quickest to go. So that was my little trio I put together with the topaz, the ice blue appetite and the pearl. I thought that was just divine. I hope you did as well. This is, oh, I mean, it, it's saying sky blue, but to me, if you don't mind me saying so, it's not a criticism, but that's sky blue. This is neon blue. Do you see the difference? Yeah, that is a bright azure Mediterranean sky. And this is our bright sky. You know, it, it's been some lovely, when it's not raining, you know? really pretty but that is a that is a high saturation of color that is very vivid very vivid indeed that is a bright appetite that you rarely get in these large carrot weights 50 carats and look at that glow and that is because the saturation of color is so vivid so pure so rich that can only mean one thing high-end appetite high quality appetite valuable appetite appetite that is rarely seen in a carrot 
you know, anything pertaining to up to a carat. And I realize this is a strand, but look how big these gems are. Look at the purity of color, look at the saturation of that color, how vivid it is. That is a Mediterranean ocean. That is the blue lagoon. Are you ready? Look at the frown I've got. I know, where's the Botox? This is just ridiculous. 4.95 under five pounds for everybody in the workshops up in arms because they want to be here. 50 carats of bright neon blue appetite. The ovals that are five by four to 10 by six. It's a 30 centimeter strand. It is sumptuous. You know, that pop of color with whites and milky whites, that pop of color with opal, with that, that ba I'm back to my peacock again. I'm obsessed with this peacock because the colors. See that those blues there that Rachel's used? Yeah, use your appetite. The pop of color with the bright, beautiful blues of your sapphire. Archie Makuchi. Oh, and I love blue. This is my favorite color, but who thought there were so many sumptuous blues? That sapphire strand 18 carats is coming up later on before we join Rachel towards the end of the show. Mix it with your blues and your gentle apples. Oh, it's gonna be a sellout success and the sapphire. I only have 70. It is sumptuous, sumptuous. Loads of you on the phone there taking advantage. I don't blame you. You know bargain when you see it and quality when you see it. Mwah. All right, get two, yeah. Don't delay, it's the last of stock, the very last of stock, last 70 or so in stock. So that is it. Let's do more, darling, let's do more. Let's. What was in box 12? Yes, they're here. Those gold beads, you know what I'm like, I take it out. I put it with the pearls, I put it with the garnet. I just thought that says expense, expense, expense. Make the jewelry. This is a, a beautiful, I know I'm biased because I'm holding it, but it's, it's an amazing combo. Get them, trust me. Fifi knows. It's gonna be amazing. Um, so these are the gold balls. Yeah. Beautiful with your garnets and beautiful with your pearls. Beautiful with anything, let's face it. Add a real touch of class, a touch of elegance. Put them in between your garnets, full stop. These is exactly what you could use in your butterflies, your dragonflies, your peacocks, all the designs that Rachel can show us on her DVD, which is still available, where we got down to the last 100. Uh, you are getting 80, two bags of 40. And they're large, let me get a couple out for you, that's remiss of me, I'm sorry, I'm too busy having ideas about what I could do with them. Let's get a few out so you can see the size, there we go. Yeah, actually two lots of sizes, large and small. Yeah, so there you go. Lots of you on the phone. Now we've got 40 of each, five millimeter and four millimeter. So these are my big five millimeter balls and there's my four millimeter ball. So my four millimeter has got a one millimeter diameter in the middle for threading. And my five millimeter has got a good, I'd say about three millimeter diameter for threading. So you've got both there. You've got both, 40 of each. And they are sterling silver gold plated balls, which is important. Let's give you the price, but remember it's the last in stock, 80 balls. 80, that's a lot. 80, you know, just a few spaced in between that garnet, in between, you know, your sapphire, the quality. You want to put precious with precious, don't you? You can't almost see that rich, oh, put with the gold. Be beautiful, that's getting your money back in a flash. You know, the sapphire there with your gold balls. Yeah, that's gonna work, isn't it? Yeah, you know, and, then, and what that does is allows you to keep your precious sapphires and use them a bit more sparingly, doesn't it? Because you've got 80 of those balls. So, and then a bit of cheeky wire wrapping or that, you know, that Rachel has inspired us. Eight, and they're silver gold plated. So quality, 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 80 of them. How much is that working out at each, darling? Have you got a calculator there? Too much for my brain to compute. So seven pounds 50 for 40. Eight, no, really? 18 pence for a gold-plated silver ball. Spaceable, 18 pence each. 
That is ludicrous, even as, even if I was, even if I say it. Well, I wish I could say. I can't even say that. Uh, Debbie, Sandra, Beryl, Margaret, Michelle, Joe, eighteen pence each for a sterling silver gold-plated spacer ball. Well done, you. Loads of you there. I don't blame you because you love your quality, like myself and Rachel. Especially if we're using sapphires, garnets, you know pearls we want the quality we want to be able to tell our customer or you know something we're wearing ourselves that it's quality 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 yeah love it should we do some more let's do it oh this is like nuggety goodness nuggety goodness oh love these do you know what i love these with because they were just sitting side by side your nuggets of citrine. Yeah, I thought that was a toffee jumbly, jubbly jubbly. Now, this is rich sunstone. Look at the richness of color. Look at those oranges, those burnt sienna oranges, those golds. They're like crystal nuggets. I've only got 13 left, 175 carats. These are divine. Do you know what, what it's, oh, it so is. Oh, with blue, gold and blue. 13 left, oh, the adventure essence is amazing. Look at this, 4.95. Look at the adventure essence, these are incredible. Can you see that sparkle? Oh, the gorgeousness. This is an absolute doozy of a strand. It is beautiful. We had 300, these are the last 13. Oh, I love the sunstone. This is the one well, of the best strands. Nuggety goodness oozing adventurescence and sparkling gold dusty flecks of gorgeousness. <gasps> Sumptuous. Oh, I want to put on my sky blue topaz. There's just something about that blue and the gold. The blue and the gold. The neon. Uchi makuchi. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. 4.95 but I've only got 13. What else can we fit in darling? Yeah. I've done that. That was my labradorite sweetie. Oh it's underneath. I put the labradorite wrong. Back in the wrong box. I'm so sorry sweetie. Uh, toggle clasps. No more gin for me hey. No, it's Saturday. We're, we'll finish with the gin and go on to the wine, like Rachel. Um, let's have uh, toggles, bolt ring clasps. It's Saturday. What a day. you got it, haven't you? It's the law, isn't it? Uh, it's exactly. We've worked hard, so we need to celebrate. You worked hard all week. Work hard, play hard. Uh, here we go. Let's get these out. These are all top end. So what you've got is three toggle clasps. Two, they always remind, remind me of sort of marina bolt ring class because they're the much, much bigger. So these are perfect for your, you know, like those lovely wire designs with your wire twisted gizmo design that Rachel showed us earlier. So a nice big, if, you know, say if you're not making one, you know, that a nice big sturdy, yes, yeah, so you get two of those. You get three of the sterling silver toggles and these are great to make cufflinks out of. And then you get five of the sterling silver carabiner clasps sorry let me just get that into shot for you there five of those and they're all sterling silver so two bolt ring large clasps 24 by 12 millimeters five silver lobster claw clasps that are 12 millimeters and then three sets because they're a set you see of your bar and your toggle round which are lovely and asymmetric necklaces for fastenings at the front because this is silver so you, you, you kind of want to display its beauty you almost don't want to hide it sterling silver we're going to sell out of these as well because they're last in stock so let's get you a price on the screen 14 95 and there's one two five ten clasps there 14 95 10 clasps you know for your finishing pieces working out one pound fifty each one pound fifty per clasp, per set, because there's 15 there, isn't there? Three toggles, two large, and, and uh, bolt rings, and then five carabiners. Brilliant, all sterling silver. Yes, Tiger's Eye next, because they're gonna sell out. Beautiful. 
going quickly don't forget my sapphire 18 carats of sapphire still to come still to come what box was that out of, sweetie that one me toggles 13. thank you no thank you uh you're right i'm just trying trying to be helpful but i'm not sorry pete uh tiger's eye we had that lovely marquise tiger's eye at the start of the show in the first half an hour now these are my balls do you know it's a long time since i saw my beautiful red tiger's eye rounds long time look at that chatoyancy don't forget i've got that lovely praise your light i've got to fit in as well as a sapphire i'll do my praise your light next my favorites one of my favorites oh this is this is real conquer red copper reds this would be lovely with the copper wires that we've had oh yeah look at that oh i can't remember look at that chatoyancy the tiger's eyes just it's like a rich mahogany like a fine um oh i'm trying to think of acorn not acorn antiques the antiques roadshow when you have a uh, i'm trying to think of what uh, uh, chippendale or uh what would you say rach no, I said the wrong word. It's just like a, yes, like a mahogany piece of like furniture. Like a lovely mahogany yeah. or a fine piece of furniture. Mm. Just rich and gets better with age. <laughs> Gorgeous. I can't remember. Was the, I mean, I'm going to, I'm putting my head on the block here saying, I don't know, Peter, not Pete, Philip, can you remember? Did we go as low as, this is awful to ask, but I think those marquises was as low as 4 I don't suppose you could do something like that. That's so naughty. Don't ask, you don't get under five pounds he's matched it for us if you miss those marquises and they go beautifully with it because don't forget the marquises were golden tiger's eye this is your red your, your mahogany your rich chestnuty reds oh rich and luscious and everyone is a perfect sphere of chatoyant gorgeousness look at that open close open close oh, you're beautiful let's do some praise you like loads of their L S L G P five zero because i've got my Sapphire 18 carats to bring you. Oh, Laura's favourite yesterday. One of my, the, the absolute beautiful apple gentle kiss. Bathe in the illuminating light of gorgeousness. Just, ah, oh, just give yourself the chance to see why this green amethyst, this gorgeous amethyst is one of the most illuminating gemstones on any skin tone it just complements you it is breathtaking the faceting is like you know the light of angels just dancing on the surface because the luster is so beautiful the internal flawlessness of this praise light is top notch this strand is breathtakingly beautiful seeing is believing those gold balls put them in between the finishing touches, mirrorings, pendants, bracelets. Jay, you are you 21. Trust me, trust me, trust me. It's every bit as enticing as I've just described. This strand is divine. And I want you to have it. I want you to see why I love it so much. I want you to, oh, treasure it, love it, adore it, make something gorgeous out of it, wear it, get compliments. Breathtaking jewelry will be made from this. Let's do it because I've got sapphires and then to catch up with the lovely Rachel. Oh, that is so naughty, Filippo. 12.95. I'd be crazed to even get a pair of earrings out of this for 12.95. The quality is unsurpassed. Irresistibly beautiful. Don't resist give in to temptation believe me it's worth it make the phone call don't let this slip through your fingers make the phone call you've got your 30 day money back guarantee trust me trust me trust me it's worth it at 12.95 it's more than worth it it's an absolute steal it's a bargain woof woof it's got the woof factor j you are you 21 you thought i was done there oh we're not even we're just warming up for the night show uh the gorgeous peridot to come on this evening's show star by time and then to catch up with our superstar rachel
It is divine, it is gorgeous, it is why sapphire gets its name from the Latin sapphirus, meaning blue, and it couldn't be any more blue. It is like the cornflower blue sapphires of Sri Lanka from Ceylon, the infamous sapphires. And yet, not the oldest, but the oldest pedigree in terms of history of mining. Have a little look look at these sapphires they are the epitome of what a blue sapphire should be presented in your gems of distinction display box protected and just oh speaking volume speaking expense 18 carats i mean how much does a two carat sapphire i realize it's a singular piece but you know you know the value of the worth of your sapphires this is a sumptuous full-on Massive 18 carats. Oh, look at the sparkle. That is because they have been perfectly cut, perfectly polished, individually faceted from our Gems of Distinction range to really make the inner quality live. When is the last time we saw such a blue sapphire strand? I mean, you, this is the sapphirus blue. This is. This is the one we dream of. This is the sumptuous, rich gorgeousness of top end quality. And only for this next 10 minutes, because this is not the normal price, this is an introductory price to this Gems of Distinction strand. So if you see it on the show again, there is no guarantee it will ever be this good a deal. If there's any stock left, one carat sapphire ring, a half a carat sapphire ring, a carrot of sapphire earrings. What sort of figures are we talking? Three figures and beyond, depending on your precious metal setting. I've only got limited, limited edition because of the pure quality, the time it took to facet, and the amount in each strand is such a big carrot weight. There's, there's only 70 of these available. First come, first served. You are investing in top end quality and as we've discussed today you know we can use them in a very minimalistic way so this strand goes far you could thread these onto your gold plated silver wire remember that was one millimeter thick and have a sapphire ring you could have these onto those silver chandelier earrings mix it in with the pearls and watch the demonstration on youtube of rachel norris's uh, the quick demonstration that lovely ring with the the silver point four and the silver wire wrap including sapphires in there we could just wrap it, you know, have and have loads left with those silver chandelier earrings. And then a bracelet as well with our silver balls that we've just had, or our gold silver balls, 80 of them in between as well. The, the, you know, the possibilities are endless with such a huge 18 karat strand. Please don't miss out if there's limited availability, and this is a limited edition introductory price for such sumptuous quality. For 18 carats. 39.95 there won't be enough to go round split it with a friend you know nine carats each for 20 pounds basically loads of you there loads of you loving your high end you have gotta ask yourself the question when was the last time you had so much sapphire on the screen for so little when was the last time we saw sapphire on the show the beauty is phenomenal and we need to be make sure we're not missing out under 40 pounds incredible absolutely incredible i can't take my eyes off it it is enchanting what do you reckon rachel it's stunning shall i bring it over oh, to you to have a look actually i can see the glitter from here yeah and that is beautiful that would go into my into the the pieces i make definitely it's absolutely stunning love the color the color Gosh. is just it's mm. the epitome of blue sapphire mm. is it that's nailed it isn't it that's mm. the color you want not mm. too dark not no, too washed out a little bit of light shining through it yes. yeah bring, bring beautiful it beautiful yeah. it's almost tanzanite blue isn't it yes yeah. there is that edge isn't there of moving mm. into the blues of your tanzanite yeah there is definitely because there's that lilac overtone there well you mm. see most gems are play acrylic anyway so you won't just see one color you'll sometimes get the overtones of secondary colors Oh, you know yes. coming in anyway so yeah definitely <gasps> straddles the borders there under 40 pounds we're talking to rachel should we go and have a catch up and i'll bring the sapphire with me because it is so beautiful i dare part with it please don't miss out only 70 of these ever fashioned this is an introductory price half the stock definitely been allocated so stay on the line you can still phone up rachel's been very very busy bless her very busy with her designs 
And don't forget the DVD that we introduced is still available. <gasps> wow, 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 well, my goodness, heavens above, I don't even know when she made this. Um, have a little look, these are the two pieces. Now Rachel chose, if I'm not mistaken, we had the blue metallic coated yes. pyrite, we had the blue baroque cultured was that um, no, I just, I, the no it was the blue london blue coated quartz yes and it was the metallic kind of coated pear drop yeah, agate. all actually had surfaces that work well together i've just added in one of the agates from the bundles um for the you know for my bundles that's all things. right we don't mind just that. The head. Look at that and i didn't have that time to obviously make very many pieces but um, look at the colour combinations actually oh, of those pieces together, the, the gemstones, they work so well, especially with the copper wire, it really just works actually, the, the gemstones and the wire together. Oh, I don't even know when you made this, this is incredible. Well, so if you look at the clasp at the back um, feet, yes, let me turn this um, around the for earring see. clasps in your findings packs can be adapted to make a sort of clasp a bit like that. So if you look at your new findings packs, there's new earring findings, which if you just turn the loops around a little bit, you can make a really excellent clasp as well, for, you know, for little, for little. Yes, necklace. and you made your jump rings there end. as well. Yes. So mm. did you make all the components separately first and then connect? You know, these, these, these parts? Uh, no, I made that piece first and then thought, quick, I've got to put, run something back up. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just basically, um, I thought, I'm running out of time. And so those are very so quick to put on those big thick jump rings, yeah. and they actually take a fraction of a second to put on. Um, so I thought actually it adds to the design because you're bringing in different elements of design too. Gorgeous, gorgeous, so. and of course this like a gorgeous talk and there the butterfly. Mm. Have a little look. It's inspired. Again, I would have made a longer one, but I literally was just for display. You'd make a nice long talk ah, and maybe wrap a dismo coil on it and things like that. So. Fantastic. That's the London blue coloured coated quartz that Rachel's used there. As you can see at the bottom of the screen for 395 here. For 395. And of course you can always ask the call centre as well for the other gemstone strands if there's any availability. Because they were at the start of the show in the first half an hour. So if you give them that indication, there was the blue coated pyrite and these are the metallic coated agates. And um, we'll get this. Mm. We'll get all those codes on the bottom of the screen here. So if you watch this, it'll give you the code anyway. Sapphire's still available, but I'm down to a third of the stock now. And remember, there's only 70 of those available. The other thing to add as well is, of course, to remind everybody about the DVD. And here they are. This is what you can make. Rachel takes you through step by step. The peacock is a stunning brooch. You can make this literally. You can also make the, uh, this is a little extra bonus, the eagle. You can also make the leaf bracelet effect. Rachel takes you through step by step. Thank you, darling. The images are great. Mm. And our amazing dragonfly or butterfly, butterfly sorry, I beg your pardon. Away. The dragonfly was our. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> exactly, first half of the show. Um, our butterfly necklace with. Uh, incredible intricacies and it's three DVDs and we're going to bring that on the bottom of the screen as well it's it premiere today that was a launch now start of the show I had less than 100 because they flew out there's less than 50 they've been going to Texas and all sorts can I just say yeah. a big thank you as well to all your texts I'm so yes. sorry the I mean support yeah the support is fantastic mm. well, you know we just if we just spent the time read them out we would have got nothing done no so they're, they're, they're be brilliant we my producer's been feeding them into me I've not been able to tell Rachel half of them but um, obviously we'll we'll have a little look at those after the show as well there's just mm. been loads thank you thank you so much what we're getting is that you really enjoyed it we love I've enjoyed it I've enjoyed working with you it's been Bless absolutely you. wonderful oh you're with wonderful me. she's wonderful isn't she <laughs> but we need a marathon of Rachel mm. well, we need a whole day with Rachel, but I'm not sure you know, the stamina would stand up to it, bless you, we're working so hard. But these are fantastic. We'll get these photographed as well. Don't forget the DVD. You know, it's, it's, it's less than 50 now, so you've written, and, and this will take you into the later spring edition, edition three, yes, all, early it, summer. They all work together as a series, and yeah. there's techniques that follow through and develop in all of them. Fantastic. And the lovely thing about the butterfly necklace is the components within it you can take out and use separately, individually on their own, and you know, fuse with other ideas that you've got. 
So uh, it's, it's not just about this look. I mean, you translated that into another necklace, didn't you? Um, oh, probably that one. Yeah, do, yes. sort of, you know, so the looks mm. can be very different once you've got the fundamentals of, say, the butterfly, the lynx. Right, now something I mentioned, uh, I, I'm not sure, I know there is, I know there is peridot coming up, and I mentioned it because of this lovely peridot leaf bracelet here. So I'll just show you that again. Now I've had no peridot. What I have had is that gorgeous sapphire. I'm not sure whether it's rounds. Do you know? Do you have to know, Pete? Oh, it's smaller. Okay, so oh, this would beautiful. be great. For instance, on the bottom of my your peacock. I mean, how would you use that? This is with Ed oh, tonight. Ah, oh, my goodness. That they would, are CD beads, um, two millimeters. Bring they that are. into. Uh, I'd fill a little space and just create a lot of dense impact because they've got mm. lots of texture to them because they've got lots of different surfaces. They'll make a beautiful um, uh, central panel piece. Maybe uh, that BDB demonstration um, earlier. Also, there's, there's sort of micro <gasps> techniques of... of um, oh, quick message. Sorry to interrupt right. you. Yes, quickly. What's the message? <laughs> There's, I've got to get this message on for you, okay. so sorry, I was just spoiled your idea. We'll oh. tell Ed what it was. Uh, good show oh. from... Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, I love you. I love you all. Oh, I love you oh, all. Oh, my so husband lovely. is so brilliant. Jack, mind the forehead. <laughs> He's watching. Take care. I know, darling. Just make watches. sure you don't put the blanket on your head when you're being Superman again. <laughs> right, we'll, we'll translate this idea that Rachel's had to Ed in this quick interlude. Don't go anywhere. He's coming up with that lovely peridot. So thank you for today, and uh, don't forget the Late Show with Ed.